Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. Oh, I put my nose cuff. Contrary to what a lot of you may think, I do not have a piercing on my nose. This is a little cuff. I don't know if you can really see it. It's like a little ring that I wear here on my nose. And um, my friend actually designed this cuff. Um, her name is Laura. And uh, she has a jewelry company um, called Bruce NYC. And um, she makes really beautiful jewelry. And so this is one of her pieces. And I fell in love with it. Had to have it. I've lost one. I've bought others. So right now this is like a lifelong piece for me. Like I, I love wearing it. Uh, I usually leave it on all the time. Because it hurts to put back on and squeeze onto your nose. But I did it. And no, it doesn't fall out. Which is why it hurt to put it on. Anyway, I digress. First of all, happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, May 3rd. It is 1242, 1243, I'm sorry. 1244, two, one. Um, hi, how are you? Um, so, yeah, I'm coming to you live from sunny Miami, Florida. What up? Um, and, uh, yeah, I want to, let me get a soda first, because I feel like we're, we're going to chat. We're going to talk personal stuff. I haven't been on stream in a couple of days, so I won't be chat. I won't be chat. I won't be chat. All right. Come back and focus. Come back and focus. Okay. So, 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 where I've been? Where I've been? What I've been doing? Um, so I think the last time that I streamed, I was probably streaming World of Warcraft. And yeah, uh, last on the crazy adventures with Lizzie, um, my car kept breaking down. I had to keep jumping it a bunch, and finally I was like, you know what, no more. This is like enough. I need to just bring it uh, to the dealership to get serviced. So that is what I did. I brought it to the dealership to get serviced. I brought it there on Monday morning, which was yesterday. Um, I tried basically all weekend. They wouldn't really give me an appointment, and so like I just I couldn't deal with it in that present moment, because I was watching all of the dogs. I had four dogs in the house. So, um, yeah, I waited until the dogs got picked up on Sunday, which was really fun. I had all the dogs in the house, and that was, that was a nice time. Hi, champion. How are you? Hope you stick around for a little. Um, but, yeah, so then I brought my car to the dealership yesterday morning. I got it towed, brought it to the dealership. Luckily, it was not too expensive. It did cost me an arm and a leg, um, but I'm okay for now. Just really, car repairs cost me an arm and a leg. Like, I've owned this car less than a year. It's a relatively new car, and I've already put maybe two grand into it. My battery died. I had to replace the battery. And, um, yeah, it, it was, it was just, oh my God. And my car is not that old. My car is a 2017 Chevrolet Equinox. It only has about 28,000 miles. So honestly, like I didn't expect anything to be wrong with the car when I got it. And uh, like, time after time, I've already had to put so much money into this car in terms of maintenance. Not to mention, I have I still have to get an oil change. I still have, like, other repairs that I have to do on the car, but I have to space them out in terms of finances and all that jazz. So, when the time comes, I'll eventually get my brakes repaired. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm not, I'm not causing 
causing any accidents. Um, but yeah. I don't know much about cars. It's my first car that I've owned. And, uh, you know, like I, I'm learning slowly. Like I have an older cousin here who's been helping me with my car. He's been the one that's like been jumping my car for me every time it dies. <laughs> And so, like, I've been learning from him and my neighbor just, like, different ways that they were, like, fixing stuff in the engine and stuff like that. So, I'm trying to, like, learn a little bit, but I definitely want to learn more because I don't, like, if I can fix something, I definitely want to be able to fix it and, like, be a good driver. Does that make sense? I want to be a good car owner. So, yeah, got my car fixed yesterday. That was, like, from 9 a.m. to, like, 1 o'clock. It took a while. I was sitting in the dealership for like a really long time. And then what happened? I got food and then I did two tabs of LSD and the rest is history. There you go. So <laughs> I basically at when the clock struck 222 yesterday, I said, this is the time to drop two little pyramids. Oh, the mobile game reveal? Is it online yet? I definitely will watch it. So, like, this stream today, um, we're just, we're going to watch some videos and stuff. So, um, also, fun little fact, fun little thing that I have been working on before I forget, before we even get to the videos. Yeah, I'll definitely watch the WoW mobile game thing. I, I'll watch that for sure. It, when it comes out, can you link it for me? So I can just click it. Um, cause I'm just talking and talking and talking. Um, what was the other thing that I was going to say? What was the thing that I was going to say? What was the thing that I was going to say? Fuck. <laughs> It'll come back to me. It'll come back to me. Anyway, I was talking about the, oh yes, the videos on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So I have been uploading all of my VODs that I'm allowed to put on YouTube. When I say I'm allowed, it means that some of the content that I was watching, aka Shaws of Sunset, or uh, different music and stuff like that, YouTube uh, and Twitch do not have like the similar, same like processes going on. So like some things that are allowed on Twitch are not necessarily allowed on YouTube. Um, so yeah, that basically cancels out some of my videos, but now I'm regularly uploading all of the VODs to my YouTube channel, so if people prefer to see them on YouTube, they'll be on my YouTube channel, you can find me on there, it's my same name, same everything. Uh, so yeah, I think, I think mostly all of them are up on there. I have a bunch uploading. Let me just check. Yeah, like I put up I put up basically anything from I think it was April on because my old VODs got deleted, so hi chip Pokemon. I'm 30 years old, believe it or not. Ripley's, believe it or not. Yeah, so I'm uploading all my content too. That's kind of why I have um, been away from Twitch. Um, I haven't played World of Warcraft today. I haven't gotten my Great Vault reward or anything. Am I making small clips? Not necessarily. Not yet. Um... I would like really have to like start watching back my streams and stuff like that. I don't know. Like I could have a clip. I don't know. I'll think about it. That may be a little intensive for me. Like I think like a, like I'm doing my part enough where you know like these vods at least are getting saved somewhere now, and I don't feel like they're just like ending up in the fucking cloud trash, which is basically what Twitch has been doing with my streams, which I'm pretty upset about and I didn't know about, but. What are you going to do? So there's lots of internet stuff that we have to catch up on. So first video that we're going to watch, this is my homepage usually on YouTube. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys are familiar, but 
this is my homepage. So we're definitely going to watch Trash Tuesday. That's under an hour. But first, I think while we wait for the WoW expansion, we will watch this video by Deaf Noodles. If you don't watch Deaf Noodles, Deaf Noodles is like a commentary channel. Well, folks, ah, let's get to it. Ah, Irrelevant. Oh my goodness, I am so, 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 so sorry. I was blasting music before I was... <laughs> I was blasting music before I was watching videos. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. I lowered it. I'm controlling the volume. So Pete Davidson recently got a brand new tattoo of Kim Kardashian and her kids' names, which is a very... I don't think those are her fucking kids' names, to be fair. I don't think those are her kids' names. Do you... Maybe I should just minimize this and pop out stream. That's what I'm gonna pop out the chat. That's what I'm gonna do. Fuck. Is it opening or no? I want to pop you out. No, no. Hold on. Let me not even fuck around with this right now, honestly. Why am I trying to complicate things? Anyway. I'm just gonna put myself over there in the corner. Oh, but then I can't see chat. Oh, so it's fine. It's a very normal thing to do after dating somebody for less than six months. I mean, the last person I dated, I got every single one of their family members' faces tatted on my back after meeting them twice. It's called commitment. And in other news, this happened to Katy Perry. Ends it all. Tonight, your top ten are trying to win you over again. <laughs> How did I know that Luke Bryan is the kind of friend who just points and laughs at you when you embarrass yourself? Anyway, moving on to Jack Harlow, who recently did this at an NBA game. <laughs> so he turned down the volume on somebody's camera. Oh, this rascal. Somebody stop him. Not funny. You don't play with people's jobs. Uh-oh. For real. Twitter found out about it. Hi, Jack. Remember when I said Jack Harlow had middle school boy vibes? He keeps proving it. Not only does Jack Harlow have middle school boy vibes, but he clearly shaved his pubes and attached it to his chin and he's trying to pass it off as a goatee. Jack Harlow should be canceled for this. I can't stand these thug rappers. Sign him, Shug Knight. He's a gangster. Likes to fiddle around with knobs. Hi, Jack Harlow. You owe me chicken fingers. Oh, yeah, by the way, that's the person whose camera Jack was actually touching. Doesn't seem like they're actually... Also, if you look up a picture of Jack Harlow without a beard. He looks not cute. Bothered by any of Not as cute as he but, looks with you know, it's Twitter like wouldn't be Twitter. It's not getting offended <clears throat> for everybody else. I just want to share that I'm camera woman. You can see my red gel nails. I sometimes freelance in photography too. And no, I did not get fired. I also don't want to be harassed while I'm working games slash concerts, so I may not attend the next few playoff games. Stay safe, everyone. Oh, so she's not okay with it. Does she still want the chicken fingers? Because I'm pretty sure Jack Harlow's good for it. She's got to be a little careful with the cube, you know. Glow doesn't keep it attached to the chin like you'd imagine. Anyway, shifting gears to Amber Heard. She's apparently having a wonderful time. Days before testimony against Johnny Depp, Amber Heard fires PR team. Trouble in paradise, I see. Actor Amber Heard expected to testify Wednesday in ex-husband Johnny Depp's defamation claim against her <laughs> has hired a new crisis management firm. Really says a lot about what you're going through in life when you have a crisis with your crisis management firm. Heard cut ties with Precision on Thursday after having expressed frustration with coverage of the defamation case that may have favored Depp. According to sources familiar with the situation, Depp, 58, took the stand April 19th and has essentially controlled the narrative since then. Hey, Amber, I don't think Johnny Depp's controlling the narrative because he has a better crisis management firm. It's because he's telling he's the truth. I think he's controlling the narrative because he did some <laughs> fucked up shit. Not just in his bed. And speaking of the Johnny Depp case, Drew Barrymore recently shared her thoughts on it. The Johnny Depp Amber Heard, it's, I am on the theater. It's like one layer of crazy. It's a seven layer dip of insanity. It's, it's truly amazing just to sit back and read the transcripts of what they've done to each other. Yeah, kind of makes you wonder just why two people would be in a relationship that toxic for that long. Make up sex really does things to people, huh? Tip. He drew his name in blood on the wall. How about the burnt body and why a Honda Civic? Yeah. Why you had a Honda Civic? <laughs> I have
have a slight suspicion that this whole thing will end up being a very highly rated HBO show in a few years. Maybe Johnny Depp will even play himself. I mean, I would love to see him say you're on fecal matter again. It's so fascinating. I, I, I know that these are two people's real lives, and I know what it's like to have your life put out in public. Mm -hmm. um, I understand all the feelings, but they are actually offering up this information. I mean, Drew's technically right. It's part of a defamation also, case. Also, they have to offer up this information because case. they are in a lawsuit and they're trying to win a multi-million dollar case against this other person. Which, by the way, there's a follow-up case. There's going to be a hundred million dollar countersuit that she which filed. Amber has filed against Johnny. So... This is going to keep on going, folks. The circuit is in town. It's going to do a whole loop before it goes. Anyway, yeah. shortly after that clip aired on Drew's show, Drew ended up getting backlash and then uh, posting an apology on our Instagram saying, Hi, um, it has come to my attention um, that I have um, offended uh, people uh, with uh, making light of uh, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard and... For that, I just want to deeply apologize. Why the hell is Drew Barrymore apologizing for this? She didn't really say anything that was she out of pocket. Had an opinion. Pretty much everything that she's saying is what everybody was following the trial is thinking. Perhaps right? not saying it themselves, but they're thinking it. By the way, how amazing is it to see a Barrymore? Okay, she's third generation Hollywood, fourth generation Hollywood. Her great grandfather was a George Clooney of silent films. And here she is. <laughs> Doing a social media apology. And appreciate everyone who spoke out because this can be a teachable moment for me. And how I move forward and how I conduct myself, um, I can be a more thoughtful and better person moving forward because all I want to do is be a good person. This is such bullshit. Whenever I see people get their diapers in a twist over something so inane like this, I just can't help but think that these people don't inhabit the same universe that we inhabit. They don't have the same problems we have because to get disoffended over Drew Barrymore's commentary on a trial that Can literally everyone else is making commentary on has to be the stupidest shit I've ever seen in my entire life. We have actual serious problems in this country rather than how Drew is talking about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Okay? We have fucking Roe, Roe v. Wade, Wade getting overturned. We have the, the fucking governor of Florida trying to make it fucking illegal to even be gay in the state of Florida. Like, it, the world is literally falling apart. Conservatives have a Death Star pointed at the last hundred years of pro progress, and they're destroying everything because we as a society are so focused on the stupidest bullshit. I wow, that was perfectly said. Perfectly said, Dennis. I very much uh, appreciate the depth of mm. this, and um, I will grow and change from it. And I thank everyone for helping me grow along the way and teaching me. Thank you. Apology not accepted, Drew, because you didn't have to apologize in the first place. Now go back to doing what you do best, because that's why people watch you. Not... Because of the other bullshit. And speaking of straight up bullshit, Ulta really stepped on it. Ulta apologizes for insensitive email blast about late designer Kate Spade. The beauty chain came under fire for a promotional email that some shoppers felt referenced the designer's suicide. <clears throat> what? Come hang with Kate Spade. The email blast sent the subscribers red. Sounds like somebody at Ulta is getting fired today. Anyway, folks, uh, shifting gears to the Supreme Court of the United States, the conservative majority has voted to overturn Roe v. Wade, essentially passing off the responsibility of abortion rights to the states. Now, this goes without saying that this oh. will almost definitely cause the majority of conservative states to immediately outlaw and ban abortions, making it extremely difficult for people, especially in the Midwest and the South, to get safe and legal abortions. They will probably have to go to other states to get it. If they're able to go to other states, if they can afford to go to other states to get it. Anyway, we learned of all of this through leaked documents to political. The Supreme Court has voted to strike down the landmark Roe v. Wade decision according to an initial draft majority opinion written by Justice Samuel Alito circulated inside the court and obtained by political. Remember his face well, folks, because this is the face of the man who's leading the charge 
on making this decision on women's reproductive rights. The draft opinion is a full-throated, unflinching repudiation of the 1973 decision, which guaranteed federal constitutional protections of abortion rights and a subsequent 1992 decision, Planned Parenthood v. Casey, that largely maintained the right. Roe was egregiously wrong from the start, Alito writes. So what we are witnessing, folks, are the conservative judges who make up the majority of the Supreme Court essentially deciding to overturn two legal precedents that have been established for decades. Don't get this twisted. These years ago. are literally activist judges pushing forward the conservative agenda. Now, they'll say up and down that they don't represent a party, they don't represent a philosophy or ideology, but there's no way around it. These guys are fucking activists, and you can see it just from their rationale. We hold that Roe and Casey must be overruled. He writes in a document labeled as the opinion of the court. It is time to heed the Constitution and return the issue of abortion to the people's elected representatives. So there we have it, folks. It's a good old... Last time I checked, an abortion is a woman's choice, right? Republican talking point of elected state's rights. officials. Tell me these guys aren't activists. So what the Supreme Court is essentially doing is they're passing off the responsibility of abortion rights to the states, which essentially means that right off the bat, at least 20 Republican states are going to outlaw abortions and making it more difficult for women to get them safely. Now, it should be noted that even in places where abortions are outlawed, abortions still happen and in great numbers. So what we essentially have happening here are ideologues making decisions for women's health and what they can and can't do safely. No draft decision in the modern history of the court has been disclosed publicly while a case was still pending. The unprecedented revelation is bound to intensify the debate over what was already the most controversial case on the docket this term. Good. Embarrass these motherfuckers. Make them regret their fucking decision. Write a letter to your fucking congressman right now. Roe was egregiously wrong from the start. Its reasoning was exceptionally weak, and the decision has had damaging consequences. And far from bringing about a national settlement of the abortion issue, Roe and Casey have inflamed debate and deepened division. That's the justification that the conservatives and the Supreme Court are going with for repealing Roe v. Wade? Ridiculous. That people are talking too much about it. We can't handle the discussion. It's causing us so much stress. Really? That's really what's going on over here? This is amazing, folks. These guys are literally complaining about fucking rhetoric and putting the lives of numerous women at risk who are now not going to be able to get abortion safely. Anyway, the ghouls over at Fox News are having the time of their life with this fucking news. Does any of you on television tonight deny that we will find out who leaked this opinion? Any of you think we will not know who leaked this? No, we'll find out. This is absolutely amazing, folks. Conservatives are all about leak. law and order. All of a sudden have no problem with the Supreme Court doing something absolutely unprecedented just because it fits their fucking agenda. And now they want to crucify the person who let us know that this is about to happen because it's fucked up that they're doing it like this? Oh, yeah. These people, how can they fucking get everything so wrong all the fucking time? This is it's an kind of amazing. Are you sure, Mr. Mike fucking Huckabee, that this is a fucking insurrection? Not what happened on January 6th. No, that wasn't an insurrection. That literally pillaging the Capitol... Wasn't an insurrection, but a whistleblower letting everyone know that the Supreme Court is, is a trying to reverse two yes, legal precedents in the slimiest way possible behind the back of the American people. Disgusting. That's an insurrection. This is an insurrection. Oh, well, it sure sounds like all the demons over at the GOP sure got the fucking memo, huh? Because they're all parroting the same bullshit talking points already. The perverse attempt to create public pressure against the court by leaking this opinion should be prosecutable. It's absolutely unprecedented. Should we really listen to anything Ben Shapiro has to say about women's policy? Because the guy's in his 30s and he's seen less wet-ass pussy in his entire lifetime than the 40-year-old virgin. Before everybody <laughs> freaks out, that this is now going to be determined by you, the people. Yeah. Like, you can move to, you can live in New York. Ah, uh, yes, folks. Fox you can News, live in New York. Her love's its elitism. And Laura's right, folks. Why don't all the women who are going to end up unintentionally right. living the in these states that will abortions, almost they'll be living automatically in New York. end up banning abortions, why don't they just uproot their lives and move to a much more expensive state? What why don't idiot. they just completely what change their entire lives, move away from all the people that they know just so they can get a medical procedure safely. If you needed any other indication that conservatives hate your guts, there you go. And now a palate cleanser.
Don't you remember what his name was from? I'm sure, yeah. I need some more gold, though. Let's go. We're trying hard. Yeah. Right here yeah. So that we can fuel our harpy addiction. All right. Good. Have those chickens board. come in and peck that swole troll. Just like it's a snack. Oh, my gosh. Look at all of these units coming in here. But one chain lightning is all we need. Hopefully that kobold sneaks by. Oh. There you go. Stream? Yeah. So that's Pale Beyond. That's not what the bards are. About 16,000 people uh, with... I can't imagine that being like the... It's right now. No, nope. but at least this way, we'll get to find out about the game in Blizzard's own words. Let's go. Is that the hero character for Hearthstone? That's not true. That would make sense. Oh my god, this is way cute. Animation so far is really cute. <laughs> really like how they've made the departure and that style makes sense. Classic ally. <laughs> There you go, that's another game in the tavern. Arc light rumble, okay. I'll tell you what, style nice. Now we're playing in nice. And I'm Adam. Go. Today we have the honor of introducing you to Warcraft. Warcraft. So what is this game? What is this game? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, this is a mobile mm. strategy, fast-paced hero collector. And villain collector. And villain collector game that has a vast PvE campaign. It also has dungeons and raids and PvP and co-op and everything you'd expect of a Warcraft oh, shit. game to work with. We love yeah, I games. Thought this was super inspired by tower defense style. games. Our game isn't really tower defense. It's more our style to do a tower offense game. It's joyful chaos. And we're aiming to bring our blizzard best to mobile games that inspire us. Chaos reigns. All the chaos. Can't use chaos twice. Basements of taverns all across Azeroth. A mysterious machine has been found. Is it new? Has it always been there? Powered by gnomish engineering and arc light. This machine has been generating famous and infamous battlegrounds for your entertainment. So when the battle begins, you'll come to the battlefield with your army, ready to go assault the boss. There's a base for you to defend. If the base dies, your run is over. Also, there's meeting stones on the map. If we control the meeting stone, we can play things closer to the boss. If the enemy controls the meeting stone, they're going to come at us a little bit closer as well. There's also mm -hmm. towers on the map for you to go capture that lets you have a forward position so you can assault the boss directly. There's also shinies that you can get. There's gold nodes and treasure chests to plunder. You gotta get the shiny! Give me the shiny! Shiny! The more gold that you can get, the more chaos you can rain upon the field. <laughs> One of my favorite things about this game is that every mini has their own personality and every single one of them thinks they're uh, the coolest. XP bar. And they're it's all so collective. Except for Black Rock Fire Master. Yeah. Almost certainly. A lot of people are cardbacks. In Warcraft Arclight Rumble, yes. we have five families. The Alliance! The Noble Alliance with a lot of defensive units and spells. Uh -huh. There's also the Horde. The Proud Horde that will overpower your enemies. He's my call! But there's also black rock to shear a hole in your enemy's defense. Let's throw down! No benefit, so yeah. there's of course the undead. undead. Love the undead. Who can bring a skeleton of troops to the battlefield. Yeah. And beasts. We also have a literal stampede from the plains and jungles of I mean, Look, It looks cute. It looks cute. 
Am I gonna play it? No. No. It doesn't I thought I thought it was like a way I thought it was going to be something related to World of Warcraft. Like you could check your things in game. Like I thought it was gonna be something like that. It's definitely not what I thought. Definitely not what I thought. Okay, let's go on to Trash Tuesday. Hi Slugs, listen to today's episode if you want to hear what TV show we're going to be the pioneers of as first guests on, and we're manifesting it. That was the wordiest way of saying it, but you guys get it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, Annie and I are doing stand-up, we want you to come see us, we're having so much fun, and I, this month, I'm, I'm going to be in Chicago, Minneapolis, Denver, and then I'm coming to Austin, get tickets at estheronites.com, and my sleepover drop should be out by now, I'm wearing one of the new shirts that says do not resuscitate. Sleepover by Astro.com. What's up, sluggies? I am so excited to be on the road and meeting all of you. The meet and greets are epic. I cannot believe it. Please come see me. I have new merch coming that is wild, some sunnies, some socks. This weekend, I'm going to be in San Jose, California. We rocked it out in San Francisco, so I cannot Dania wait Beach. to see you guys again there. I'm going to be in Donia Beach, Florida. I'll be in Omaha, Nebraska, St. Louis, Missouri, Houston, Texas. Burbank, California, West Nyack, New York, Austin, Texas, Springfield, Missouri, Homestead, PA, Tempe, Arizona, Calosa, California, Kansas City, Irvine. There's a billion other ones. Please go to AnnieLetterman.com slash shows. You cannot miss it. Everything is crazy. It's a freaking party. Can't wait to see you there. <laughs> is everybody today Good. annie is this day one of your egg journey no it's tomorrow i had one last coffee oh, wait so what? what is tell us your one last of everything guys it's been like it's been like almost a month of one last <laughs> i have been well because i knew okay so i knew whitney told me that i was going to be like four months pregnant what which by the way the doctor was like he was like she did get she did get bloated. He like laughed. But it's I don't think that that's necessarily the case. We'll see. I'll be the guinea pig for us all. But so everyone, if you don't already on, know, yes. Annie's getting her eggs frozen. Congrats. This is a huge deal. Can you guys do a thing where it shoots eggs out? <laughs> <laughs> and then Kalila catches them in her mouth. Catch it. <laughs> Esther. <laughs> Make it crack in her face. <laughs> um, I'll lick it up. <laughs> it's go-go she loves it <laughs> um yellow go-go no well eggs probably have nutrients uh, probably, now i want oh, I could see you eating eggs <laughs> no i'm like fully on board i'm gonna feed you just want to be clear <laughs> by the way this is not just eggs <laughs> <laughs> we are competing with our own sponsor <laughs> um but okay so they put me on birth control and what i think they put me on birth control for was so that they could time around my tour schedule when they started. I don't know if they would just go with a natural cycle usually. So I did like two weeks of birth control and they gave me like a, ch they checked my uterus and my, my ovaries first time I went in. Mm -hmm. Then I'm I did like, birth control. I went in, what? Do you have a uterus? Can you believe it? <laughs> it's just so weird. It's a meterus. I am very, very narcissistic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> meterus. Um, it was fun having Bert on and just trying to, I don't think I told you ahead of time, but I was going to see if I could interrupt Bert more than he interrupts and talk over him more, and I was unable to. <laughs> I was unable to do it. <laughs> anyway, Kalila looks 10, by the way. 10 or tan? Oh, the The way she's sitting and the You key. look so young, and your skin is very glowy. Yeah. It's very glowy. It's very, there's a youth. <laughs> Glow. Really? Yeah. It's well, I went back to Soul Cycle today. It's my first workout since COVID. And let me tell you, uh, my performance was not great. <laughs> That's okay. So Shout out to Diego. If you ever want to take a Diego class, but I'll do it with you. Do you feel like you ever come out of there feeling like you did your best? Yes. Yeah. I am. When, when it comes to working out, I am a charger, 100%. Yeah. I never phone it in. I am somebody that if I'm going to commit my time to a workout, I'm going to go all out. And this is why Kyle and I get along. And this, what's so funny about this is that <laughs> Esther literally asked her her workout instructor to do a time slot she's never done in her life. Like, a, what, how much was it? A half hour? Oh. She, every 
person does like an hour and Esther's like can we bring it down to 20 minutes my trainer invented the 30 minute session <laughs> for me <laughs> wait, wait a second speaking of Kyle Sosie texted me two weeks ago and she um did her very first berries okay and she walked out of there and she was crying in her car and I was like what's the matter who was the instructor <gasps> and Kyle <laughs> Kyle, you're abusive in all the right ways. I love you. are abusive in ways I love. Also, so gorgeous. His gap ads with his. I don't know if he's married. Is that his? He's friend? married. Yeah, okay. he's married. And the music he plays is so good. It's he's so just good. So hot. I'm like, also, how dare you be that hot? Not for us. <laughs> I want to have you. That's like oh, all of the berries instructors. There's a so guy gorgeous. named Donald. I swear to you, I've never seen more beautiful man. I know the way I you said it. Donald. I know Donald doesn't seem like a hot guy, but I'm telling you, pull Donald <laughs> Guys, from Berries, please. I um, banged Carlos. an unhot Donald when I was 19. Yes, I did. I did. Well, I'm here to tell you there are hot Donalds. He had strap up pants. He had, he had the, jeans with like laced up. <laughs> they laced up the crotch. Oh, it was those like, like like Christina Aguilar. Yes, what did he have? <laughs> he had a good Are you body. sure he wasn't Donnie? Austin? I might have been the last. This is the the Donald. last. Vagina yes, that's reason. Donald. Okay, Ooh. he's obviously hot. Yeah, he's very hot. Now I had a berries uh, egg related berries situation. So I just manically one night recently because I've been eating so shitty. Because... Yeah, wait, I want to hear all. Okay, so let, we'll just do it in sequence. Yes. Okay. So I um they put yep. me on the birth control and birth control actually sent me through a tail I, I'm never I never do birth control because it makes me like crazy I don't like them fucking with my hormones all that stuff but I had to do it for two weeks I went oh, a little crazy and I was weeks. eating yeah it wasn't the whole cycle oh, that's wow. what I'm saying like I think they were just trying to get me at a very specific yeah huh. so it would be the beginning of my cycle when we start the thing makes sense so I um because you know you get your period guys you might not know this if you, <laughs> if you miss your one fucking moment of your birth control, you gush blood. And mm-hmm. and you wait Correct. Till next month, yeah. But so for someone with ADD, I had to stop doing birth control because I was like, I'm just going to have my period every other day. <laughs> I'm going to forget this all the time. But so, um, so I uh, went on the birth control, was emotionally eating. I don't know why it made me eat so much. It's I just, I think. I no, know. that's normal. Yeah, yeah but fucking I, with your hormones right. in ways yeah. you don't understand. But I remember when I started birth control again, Fucks like when so I was in hard. my 20s. The binge eating was award winning. And you were hanging out with Benji, so it was Benji eating. <laughs> <laughs> Benji loves to push a little binge. <laughs> He's like, I bought you all the dessert. <laughs> He's the opposite of Carlos. I did so true. It's actually the opposite of Carlos. But so um, so I just was eating a lot and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna like pretend I'm pregnant and just like use this time to just <laughs> eat a lot. I know I'm gonna have I know I'm gonna get bloated anyway. So I was like eating like shit and, you know, having fun doing it. And then in the middle of the night, I was like, you know what? I got to come back hard. I'm going to sign up for berries. I'm going to start doing berries. So then I sign up for berries. Of course, I do like the 280 where it's like three three classes a week, which yeah. I'm like, that is so crazy oh, to go full berry. Like three zero. berries a week is a lot. That's what I used to do, but I did always get injured. I'm not going to lie. Sorry, berries. You no, know, no offense to you. It's probably my bad. <laughs> I once purchased like at I once like a hundred classes to like convince myself. <laughs> I, by the end of the year, I was trying to beg them if I could exchange it for I think points. I think you're yeah. the reason why when, when a new client just watching here, a podcast. You're the reason why they're always like, why don't you do one um, one class before you sign up for more classes? They they have to say that now, and I think you're it. I, yeah, I lost thousands of dollars, <laughs> like, think, going for that trick. I and listen, I like losing money, so <laughs> I would be into that, but Esther does not like it. No, it was painful. They were precious, though. I love berries. They're really amazing. Too. So, okay, so I order, I order the so classes, intense. and then I immediately see Dr. Wong in my head going, you're not going to be able to exercise. You can only do like light walking and stuff. And I go, wait, why did I just sign up for the monthly thing? I'm like, time when I just can't do it. So I wrote them. I wrote them. I go, guys, I'm freezing my eggs. I'm such a like dildo. I'm sorry. I <laughs> am an idiot. Like I just completely forgot. I was like, once my eggs are frozen, I'm like so excited to come back. But I just, this is the two weeks I'm unable to exercise. Yeah. Right now it is 121 in the afternoon in Miami. So, um, they wrote me back. They were so nice. Like, we totally understand. We oh, refunded no. it. Like, hit us up oh that's again. good. I know. I was, like, so happy. But I did put my Instagram handle. 
Yeah. I do always go, this is my Instagram handle. I sign with like my If you want to follow my egg journey. No, yeah. just like my number of followers. And it's like sliding a 20 just, across the table. I'm like, you don't want to fuck with this. <laughs> I'm so annoying. <laughs> just watch some clips. You don't want to get I like that it's this. not about being famous or having followers. Oh, perfect. It's just like, We're I'm annoying. <laughs> Check it out. Apart. You're not going to get rid of me. <laughs> I tell. Should, Crunch Jam has been like so kind of fucking with me. Let's see. If you're 12 hours away from me, let me guess. Hold on. 12 hour time difference. This is what I want to see. I want to see the map. No, I want to see the map, bro. Map. Aha. Not US. I want to see the world. Here we go. I have always found this so freaking interesting. Where's the map? Look at this. Okay. Okay. Let's nerd out for a little bit. So we are per we are 12 hours away from each other. So right now I'm here. I'm in this little area. This is a little, little blue area, right? So if you're 12 hours from me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You're either from China, from Russia, from Burma, from India. You're, but you're in this little, you're like in this region. You're in six and seven right here. Isn't that interesting? I find that so interesting. Like, I know for a fact, like, Europe is five hours away from me. So, like, close but not. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So, which one are you in? Tell me which number you're in. Negative 11 to negative 11. <laughs> I mean, negative 11 to negative 12. Go ahead. Tell me which one you're in. If you're 122... Oh, wait, 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 wait. If you're, if we're, oh, so then you're in number five. If we're, if we're 12 away from each other, you're in number five. Right? Is it number five then? So Russia, Kazakhstan, some of Turkey, Iran, Pakistan, some of Saudi Arabia. I see some countries here off the coast of Africa. It's so interesting. Anyway, time zones. What a, what a, actually I might save this one. This is really interesting. I feel like I always try to pull that up when I'm streaming with people, but anyway. Man, by the way, they haven't stopped fucking with me, so here we go. It's going to get annoying. <laughs> crunch Jim, you're going to prison, Crunch. Can you arrest Crunch Jim? I want to be like the What's their, sim can you bring up Crunch Gym? I want to see what their um, logo is. It's been a while since I've been there. It's Crunch. They've been charging Literally. me since the, they, we, Crunch Gym, can you, can I put Just that where Crunch is their logo. Can yes, I put yes. Like holding the Como crunch estas? in a handcuff? <laughs> <laughs> there should be shackles hanging down. There should be shackles hanging down. These people are criminals. During the pandemic, when I was poor, okay, before the glow up. <laughs> Anyway, um, you can do it, it's important. Um, okay, so they, in the middle of the pandemic, when I'm broke as shit, I'm like, literally, Esther and I were like, anyway. <laughs> we were manifesting. We were manifesting. Let's just say we were, I was doing the man, she was doing the festing. <laughs> the fisting. <laughs> we were manifesting ourselves. <laughs> we had nothing to do. It was a wild time. Um, but anyway, so they just turned my account back on. I had a frozen account that they just turned back on and started charging me. And they have not stopped charging me. I'm like, I will not pay you guys a dollar. And my credit card, I didn't know until that credit card got, um, I didn't know until my true bill that they were still charging me. So they are charging me and then it's on an old card. So they're just hitting this old card and it's not getting any money because the, the card got canceled. So now they're just, now they're complaining, but now they're writing me complaining that I owe them all this back money. I'm like, why would I owe you money when you turn my account yeah. back on? 
without you could just, without telling me. And even you sent me an email and I didn't say you did not get my consent to turn it back on. You cannot turn it back on. They're doing this to so many other people. They're doing this to a million people. And the problem is that like Wild. if it was an active card, you could just dispute the charges. I, you could let them know, hey, like these are yeah. yeah you have a yeah. case here. Yeah, and. Don't we all, Trash Tuesday, have a case here? <laughs> <laughs> I have an army now, an army of slugs that will very slowly square them in front of you and complain that you're a crunch gym. Anyway, don't go to crunch gym. They fucking suck. Go to any other gym. They fucking blow. Well, that's They're what Kyle always off. says. Really? Yeah. Well, not crunch. Sometimes he uses crunch as an example, but he's always like, you're not here because you like Planet Fitness. Like, he always oh. like... <laughs> That um, is so if, mean. if you don't want to be here, walk two blocks down the street to Planet Fitness. Is that what it's called? Planet Shitness is what my dad calls it. <laughs> but he says things like that that make me like feel even more honored to be under his um, abusive. Um, you know, watch. I can't wait to get just beat up by him. I'm really so excited. I have a pitch, and I we're gonna get back to your ex because I. Of I course, no, you're the in charge. I have ADD. You yes. are in charge. Barry tires us. As no. Ambassadors. No, it's way less. She just wants a smoothie. She's like, I want one free smoothie. <laughs> you really are Bobby. You know that, right? He only goes in for the smoothie. Oh my god! It's actually so funny. It's like I go to the movie theater sometimes just to get popcorn. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god, I have done that. I've gone to the mall, gone to the movie theaters, get the popcorn, walk around the mall. Just yes, happy. dropping it all over the place. I have to go to a Bed Bath and Beyond and just drop them. Oh, like, use your brooms. Oh, we can follow each other, find each other. Oh my god! Well, we I was... go to Skokie. Can we? Can we play that? You're game? You're doing the, you do the, what's, what was the Korean bow? You do the Korean bow while you're licking it up. <laughs> She's just frogging around the room. Wait, take a bio break. Okay, sorry. Wait, is there a BBB there? I'll keep moving into this play. I was just there like two weeks ago. We have yeah. like that so confidently that we would 20% know that. off entire purchase, guys. I have coupons. Let's guys, go. I got you the, think my I mom doesn't have those too? Oh, you guys, I got you the buzz up. yesterday. I, I got the buzz, the alert that I got a text, and I went, woo! Bed Bath and Twenty. I got my twenty percent off. But is it for the item or is it's it for the item, entire purchase? It's an item. But how many things do I need to okay, get? Okay, okay. All my hens are clucking in the hen. Speaking work. of eggs, <laughs> cluck cluck cluck. Okay, I think we should all together go take Kyle's class. Like it's so obvious, right? Yeah. We have to do it. Yes. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. Thousand percent. Carlos. Fire up the uh, anti Tesla and let's go. Oh, fire it up! Don't actually fire it up. It's hard to get out once it's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you get cooked, guys. There's a chance. Teslas are amazing cards when every once in a while <laughs> you burn it up. But you know, oh god, not me, not me, not me. I know I did my Syracuse promo video and it's about me burning to death. In my <laughs> okay, just kidding, Elon. Can't wait to come to your parties, Joe. Don't fuck this up. We're gonna go to Kyle's class. Kyle's. Eggs. Carlos, I'm curious, what are you, are you, how high are, are you? Are you not here? The clicking is hilarious. <laughs> I took a hundred milligram edible like an hour ago. So we'll see. How are you right now? Like just in like, like 10, seven, 10% of 70 the ride. Milligrams. Yeah, Ooh. like I'm in it. Yeah. Wait, did I tell you oh, when I took the, the Doritos and I'm eating the weed Doritos and then wow. I'm talking to Todd? Bienvenido. I got weed Doritos when I was in. Um, what are weed Doritos? In never... Richmond, I was like, I need weed. I like didn't know where to get weed. So this guy brought me all of these. Edibles. All of these different types of weeds. And they had one that was, it was this bag of Doritos. It's like dusted with weed. And I was like, oh, amazing. So I'm on the phone after the show talking to Todd. I'm just like, just shoving them down. They're so good. They're delicious. <laughs> And then he's like, how many milligrams are there? I'm looking at a 600. Oh. No. No. I what puked. happened? I puked. You I did? made myself puke. I was like, I can't go through this journey. I'm not ready to have a fucking, I don't want to die. I don't have an ego death. <laughs> wow. So you can make yourself puke to like as an emergency. I pulled the trigger. Yeah. You can't, Dusty? I tried. But sadly, I tried and I was never able to. I just binged. I never purged. Okay. I'm a big purger. Major, major. Like I, <clears throat> what? Yeah, even blowjobs. Like, oh, oh, it's always. Yeah, like, no, not like, not like. Oh, no, I, I. That was up too on, good. I, she's I, our I, gag. I, did you guys get boners? Yeah, that was she's our gag. Really let's just well, say, let's just she's say, like, I've uh, thrown up on a few cops <laughs> myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like it's extra lube. It's like, oh, that, ooh. they love that. And you look up, and you're all like, just, you know, look so just broken, and you're Malaysia. crying. There's a little like. Piece where the bologna come from <laughs> the bologna was the sandwich let's go back <laughs> to talking about eggs oh really are you oh, sure yeah. you don't want to talk about 
people still eating bologna. <laughs> I just, I have an image when we were little, okay, when I was in nursery school, and we had those, remember the boots that were like the hyper color boots? And they would like, when you would go out into the snow, they would turn into mm-hmm. colors. Mm-hmm. We had those little like moon snow boots that we would wear outside. And I just remember it was either I threw up or my brother threw up on my boots and it was all bologna. <laughs> and so now whenever I oh up, I just imagine bologna's in it. Oh, Dude, college, like, I used to just fry bologna. Oh, oh that's good. Yeah. It's it was that or hamburger yeah. helper. I remember I or ate shrimp crackers. I ate bologna for my school lunches and I got I've never eaten really bologna. What did they say about <laughs> like <laughs> ew bologna? And I was like, yeah. Bologna. <laughs> <laughs> So you're right, it's a lie. I um I would always like fold it up and then you bite the thing up and then you like had an eye and you like Oh, oh you don't know. say <laughs> we have bologna fun. Bologna, we have bologna fun. um in the studio today. This no. is a perfect opportunity to just make eye Carlos, you no, didn't think to bring not bologna. Having reserved bologna. Bologna sunglasses could have been a thing. And we could make the hole, and then you could suck the hole of the bologna. I'm out on that. He's, Carlos isn't. It's Carlos just, was thinking it about be, it. He was like, what if Yeah, I was like trying to figure it out. It just seems. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. You see this? You see this can here? This can here is poison. This is sir. Sir, Sir Strom, it's this fish. Sir Stroming. It's this awful fish that is, um, it's, um, it's a Swedish fish that is pickled. Is pickled the right word? I'm not sure if pickled is the right word. But yeah, it's fucking disgusting. It's fucking disgusting. I don't know why they have it on the desk there randomly. It's like, you Too would hot. break the bologna instantly? Just saying. You? No, you'd make the hole. Carlos. Yeah, but going through the hole wouldn't like feel good to have like, bologna. Because you need it to be tighter. You need it to be tighter to feel it. And then that would tear it. Not I don't feel like pussy's very tight. I'm not like thinking about Why? it. Ne- none of us do. <laughs> no, that's no one's true. out here thinking. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know what I want? I'm going to send it to you too. <laughs> Let's quickly pivot so I can show you guys. Sir. <laughs> For those of you that don't know what Strom, uh, uh, Sir Stroming is, it's pickled uh, fish that's fermented. It's like rotting. It's stinking. It's widely held to be one of the most disgusting foods in the world uh, in terms of smell. And Ian extra is going to eat it. Um, oh, there it comes. That's kind of what... <laughs> <laughs> Cam's gonna smell my finger. Oh, it's over here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I've been waiting. It just, it just. Okay, so show. I think show though. Hold it up so you could kind of see the flesh and stuff. <laughs> you can get a close up of that. If you can zoom in more, maybe. So yeah, you can kind of just see it's fleshy. <laughs> you can still back out. You can still back out. You can still back out, Ian. You don't have to do this. Whoever has to use this mic next, apologies. I think it's going to be stinking. All right. I guess I'll do the cartoon Tomcat. (laughs) You don't have to do it. I'm just saying. Okay. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How's it taste? Does it taste like it smells? Holy shit, he's quivering. He's not chewing. He just. So, this is what he did last time. You have to kind of transcend mind and body. Right now, he's transcending mind and body. He's chewing. I, he's chewing. He's nodding no. He's nodding no. I'm feeling a little nauseous. I'm feeling a little not. He's shaking. I'm feeling a little nauseous. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's chewing now. He's chewing. Oh my God. <laughs> no! 
The guts. Oh my god, it's the joy. Ian thoughts. <laughs> Someone come take the can away, please. Well, show the bones. Show, Amy, show the, I want to show the bones. Oh god, Amy's about to, yeah. What are you puking? There's literally no amount of money that you could pay me. No amount of money that you could pay me to do that. None. Maybe. Go to the bathroom for Christ's sake, man. Everybody's throwing up, basically. So I want to know why they have that on the desk. Just for decoration. <laughs> you do know most of my jokes are, are just there's a word that I can say that I know will make people laugh. It's not necessarily like I mean I've seen a little some semen on your back, but we yeah. have. Um, I just don't yeah. think. Um, so you know, when when Bert was talking about being, you know, like very afraid to be with um, sexual partners because he was afraid of getting STDs. Yes. So the truth about me is, I'm kind of just. They used to call me a face queen because I actually wouldn't. My body count is not very high, but the amount of face dudes count. I've blown is very high, like <laughs> exponentially higher than the dudes I've actually had sex with. And that's because I had that same thing where I was like very conscious about like STDs and whatnot. Yes, There's um, a natural loosening that happens. Is is there, over time yeah, a little bit is there like a it, it, de, okay I, think. I actually think girls that fuck more have tighter pussies really why well, they're yeah so you're much. you're using your muscles more huh i love when gay guys express how like repulsed they are it's by so vaginas funny. it's I so funny that. it's a relief i don't like that at really all. yeah no i think that's fucked up why that, because it's still shaming a woman's body part like and you know there's gay men that hate women so it, to mm, me it, i don't I see know where that's i'm from. okay with it as long as i can just shame the fuck out of yours i don't as long as we're <laughs> yeah. in a shame equal shaming i'm fine but I do feel like I'm. I take back the night sometimes talking shit on dicks on stage where it's like, because mm. it is like how often I had to fucking hear that shit, and then it's like, and then you like get older and you get open with your partners and stuff, and all your partners are like, like every boyfriend I have is like, you have like a great pussy, like that's, so, and I'm like, wow, all this time I spent, but I'm actually glad. I think having, um, being worried about my vagina, made me less of a hoe. Mm. That's awesome. But being a hoe, I would have been like in. I feel like being a hoe for me is a real badge of honor. I was really ashamed for sucking <laughs> a, a lot of dick when I was younger. But those but lips like, were meant for sucking. Exactly. Thank you. Finally. It would be like, it. Rude. it would be rude. To Wasted potential if I didn't spend my life just sucking dick. I used to love sucking dick, guys. I'm, it's a wrap for me. I yeah, TMJ. <laughs> Honestly, I know where the TMJ came from. I do from. it, but I'm <laughs> never going to pretend. I, I used to like it. It used to like get me off to like mm-hmm. just blow. I used to have suck a dick day where it would be like this power move or like... <laughs> A, a guy that I like, I swear to God, and I loved it. Like, I would just, like, show up at a guy's house and be like, um, Suck a dick day. It's happy suck a dick day. And I would just blow, if they tried to fuck, I'd be like, ew, this is suck a dick day. Do not disrespect the rules of suck a dick day. Excuse me? You guys, let's talk about Bessie. I'm sick of clunky shoes. I want lightweight Best shoes. Was like, like, no. I would, like, get it. And then you just leave. But I... Kind of already like you can avoid all that because they're very light and easy to travel with. They're also made from Diametex, a dual climate. Look how Carlos has to sit in in the Like if you think about it, these are like your four wheel drive shoes. Like you could just do anything with them, any weather, any climate. Bessies are our go to shoes by our doors. Check them out at the link below, Bessie.com, for a pair of your Bessie shoes. Thank you, Bessie, for sponsoring this pod. Only rules criteria had to be it had to be someone that I had like been sexy with before. Yeah, yeah. and it so it was like kind of already like placed. Like it was. It wasn't like just new... like random doorbell yeah. with a big like how they surprise you for the publishing clearinghouse <laughs> check. <laughs> the check. The checks here, but there's a hole. It's over my mouth. <laughs> I'm like, hey guys, is it helpful Honda dealers? <laughs> <laughs> Hopper Hummer givers. <laughs> but I just like. 
And I loved it. I love the power of like getting guys off. Like it was so yeah. fun for me. But I just now I'm just I mean, I guess I can get into that. No, I guess there are times where I'm like, I'm gonna suck my man's dick. But it's just like I used to just wake up. Like I would never know the day before it was gonna be suck a dick day. So just wake up like, Wait, what are the signs that it might be suck a dick day? Just like this, like this like brewing confidence here. Like it's just it, you're like, is that heartburn? No, it's suck, suck a dick, dick day, day. baby. <laughs> Oh, that was fun. And then you just leave. Oh, there's no touchy backs. But no. then I started to get, I started to get, pissed no touchy backs. No touchy that backs. That feels like a, a sentence you invented be, because you know me. <laughs> no touchy backs. No, we were put on this earth to have, this, back, to, so. to, to have this correspondence we have. Sometimes I try to not um, make fun of you or interrupt you, and I see your little eyes looking over at me. <laughs> you know, you're like, is it, where is it? <laughs> Wait, I want to know about egg freezing. I need to learn you're this. Learn, you're learn I, in this hour, at some point, we've got to, you know, it's get on the so journey. It's so hard. I, I'm not, like, pretending to have ADD. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? Oh, you, like, don't want to talk about it. No, I'm just saying I have ADD. Oh. I, I, I can't wait to talk about it. I just have to say, everything reminds me of another thing I want to talk need, about. Okay. I need help. Let's go back. Okay. To... Did the birth control, ate a bunch of food, went crazy. Mm -hmm. Taking the, we're doing all this stuff. Um, I'm getting a little bloated. We stopped the birth. I stopped the birth control. I go in. I'm like, like a little bit starting my period. They check. They were like, my, all of your eggs are good. I have like 18 follicles on one side. I can't remember how many, but like tons of follicles. So they're like, this is really good. And then, so they, so then I got all my meds. I ordered the meds and they all have, a lot of them have to be frozen. And you have to like mix all these things. It's like very weird. There's a pen you, you inject and, and a syringe, but you have to like add these powders to the syringe and stuff. So that was a little confusing. But I start those tomorrow. And so that's when She's they really said, you're not going to do a lot of exercise. And I asked him to because I was like, I am performing throughout this whole thing. I'm going to be on stage. I'm going to, he's like, you're going to be uncomfortable, but we'll just put you on a diet that's going to make you the least uncomfortable. Well, so, in what way um, are you going to be uncomfortable? Yeah. I think I'm going to just be bloated and like, think about it. It's like they're making, your body usually only makes like, a One. few they're making you have the most egg right. you can have so it's going to be retrieval. like more than you would have ever had like the hormones so, you know what I mean? so yeah. it's, it's they gonna... tell you about like mood changes or like hunger changes or sleep changes no. or just bloating basically. they just said i'm going to be uncomfortable okay yeah and it's only for two weeks it's around two weeks mm -hmm. and then and it's great he like timed it around my schedule it's like so cool and um but so they said don't do any like crazy cardio where you're jumping or whatever. I'm just going to walk. I'm going to do the Esther workout The, the hardcore Esther workout? <laughs> I might not yeah. do it as hard as you, though. Esther's someone shoots ahead. Streams. You're like, where is this bitch? I know. I'm always like, like, surprised people with how fast I walk for how short my legs are. Like, I'm I know. And for, it. like, how much you're, like, moving your hips back and forth, <laughs> waddling. <laughs> it's the fastest waddle in town. <laughs> but you have surprisingly long legs for being um, very petite. For Thank being a little you. person. Yeah, like, your <laughs> proportions are very, like, like normal yeah if you were five foot ten you'd you know you'd have like Gigi Hadid you'd be Gigi. oh my god I just remember what I said on the wall proportion. thank you for or what I said what on, it could be yeah <laughs> what I, I said on um stage the other week so everyone always wants to know how tall you are I'm like I was talking about how short the wall is I was like is Esther or the wall taller right now <laughs> <laughs> do you know what has given me a re boost of so much height confidence is that Kim Kardashian is basically the same height as me yeah, yeah, everyone that's popular is a little munchkin. Like if I that if I ever meet her, you guys, like I'm gonna be looking at her at my level. I think Prince was your height too. I have seen this is crazy. I saw Prince at a party Howdy, once, Johnny. and I didn't know it was Prince, but I was like, I know, I know. I saw him you know, walk. Prince is like my number He's one. The best. Right? I saw him walk out of a bar in Hollywood, and it was obviously a huge entourage. But I just remember clocking that man is so petite. petite. He really? is so. Petite. Was he not wearing his? Yeah, did he have his booty? Did his booty uh, cheeks hanging out? I don't know. I just remember his like cheeks. small person walking by, like on my level. He really did a favor for the short kings. Yeah, because he really led the charge in, in saying, "Hey, like I'm five foot flat, but I'm gonna have a harem." Yeah. The hottest That's women short? ever. Do you think if he was taller, he would have named himself King? <laughs> <laughs> He, was, he just wished he could have been like oh, almost funny. Like, oh, Annie. Um, oh, wow, Annie. we would definitely be the Chloe's. 
Whoop, you and I. Big day. Yeah. Oh yeah. We're, I don't think it has to be by height. Day. But yeah, I. You know what? <laughs> Chloe is. I have to admit, I watched the new episode of the new mm. show Kardashians Hulu. Chloe is very funny. She is. They all are pretty. Yeah. Special. Yeah. There's always something funny happening and. Yeah. Being said. Carlos is Kendall. Oh, you are Kendall. You're the Kendall. No, the he's group. Rob. <laughs> Rob. He's Rob. You can work, Rob. but you got to be behind the scenes. Oh my god! Scott, I have Scott. your choice in women do resemble Black China. Oh, that's funny. Oh, right. Yeah. Because anytime you send me, you know, I'm, our text messages, I'm like, oh, he likes he likes the beautiful thick one. He uh-huh. likes thicker Latino women. I feel like I'm not yeah. sent these. No, this was that. I'm not this is a one night thing where where I was actively looking for women to have sex with. Oh, oh you no! I, I think yeah. I did that a couple of days yeah. ago. <laughs> the gay night. <laughs> it's not game night. It's gay night. It's gay night. <laughs> Can we have that? We should have gay night. That was too serious. Gay, yeah. It's every Tuesday, baby, and it's during the day. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to have to take these hormones, and so the diet that Who's they're putting gonna on. Who's going to inject you? I have to do it. Mm. I'll let Todd do it, too, though. Okay. He doesn't like to hurt me, though. No. You know what? You don't feel a lot. You just make sure you... They said just... one stink. One of them really burns. Oh, yeah. Then you know. She's used to it. Why does everything you sound, sound like a 90s hip-hop lyric? Grab it well, grab it tight. I bet you if we were wound this, we would hear her say several lyrics. We okay. have a hip-hop album. You guys are crisscross. <laughs> we could, guys. I literally found a TikTok that I sent to Carlos. That says Korean people don't smell. They don't. They don't. I, I'm, I'm here to tell you they really don't. Not all of Do them. Do they smell to each other, though? Is it maybe just our nose can't smell? Koreans them. don't have body odor due to a genetic mutation that alters sweat. And, and it's not every Korean, right. but it's... it's Bobby is one of them. I can attest to this. I, it angers me to no end. Did because, you know, you knew this? Oh, I knew this. I and and like his balls never smell, his dick never smells, unless he's like wiping back to front and the shit accidentally gets on his nuts. But any other time, I swear to you, like the, the boy fact just that doesn't he had smell. Had to give that caveat. <laughs> well, isn't sweat now? Correct me if I'm wrong. Apocrine isn't gland. sweat um like your? You'll join. Oh my god, we can't we can't talk about that on the stream. Did you know that we're not allowed to talk about OF? Or bacteria farting. A germ so fart is sweat. Is Thank like, no, you. It's bio. <laughs> we can't bio. talk. Yeah, because sweat itself doesn't smell. It's the bacteria feasting on that sweat and okay. then producing Esther, a Esther, I think your germs had some broccoli earlier. What the fuck? <laughs> <man>? <laughs> no, because in fact, I was gonna say I feel like I don't have very I. Oh, no, you're good, you're good. Sometimes I don't smell, but sometimes I really do. There's a difference between workout BO, which is hardly anything. Like, I yeah, can sweat excessively it's like to- and it's, it's nothing. It's like your toxins. It's like, that's right. like- Yeah, find me on OnlyFans. Moon Girl 91. But then <laughs> anxiety BO? Oh, my God. No, when I'm anxious, sad. like, really nervous. I mean, people find me organically. organically. You ever have a really long that's day of being thing, really, you know? really anxious, and then even your groin, like, oh, you pull yeah, your yeah, panties yeah. down, and you're like, fuck, this was a very anxious day. Were you- the smell is different. Anxiety sweat is different from regular like workout sweat stress sweat is i def- wanna it, like yeah, research different. this on my body and figure girl this out. are you anxious because your pussy is <laughs> <laughs> you ever get like when i'm nervous my armpits are just out of control it's wild it is they wild. smell good right now minor i'm pitting too i'm pitting too when we do our hometown dates you're gonna watch us eat philly cheese like we're gonna do that so There's curious. a sushi spot in Philly that I really, really want to try. I think it's called Royal Sushi. Okay. And it's only they only have like ten seats, I think. <gasps> How cute. And I think it's very hard to get um um not an appointment, a reservation. <laughs> so I was hoping that maybe production can somehow get a seat. <laughs> What's it called? Royal, I think is what it's called. Royal. Royal. Oh my God! Why do you make everything sound like it's like you're like Royal? <laughs> Royal Sushi. You're such a like a uh, mom. You know what you are? You're a forever teen. You're like oh, mom and I dad. Love that. Oh, I wait. love that. Oh, yes. Forever you know who's team. a forever team? All of us. <laughs> no, but it was a really good one. Who I used to, this is where I coined the term, which was Lisa. Oh, really? Yeah, Lisa's like always, she's always like stomping up the stairs. Oh, like, you made that like, up? Yeah, it's not even on the internet. It's good. Yeah, I made it up. A forever team. We have our forever team moments for sure. Mm-hmm. I'm a forever teen on what a plane. I'm not always a forever teen in real life, but on a plane, I am. I, I, 
put my socks on. I do this. Yes. I, I, and, and honestly, like no one respects me on that plane because I look like a child. Yeah. I act like a child. It's like my place of like. The woman came up to us and literally, I was like, I was humping Esther into the seat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the woman came up and she was like, it's all right. I have kids children your age. I'm like, man, uh-huh. you're 40. You definitely don't have children. <laughs> <Are you>? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're your age, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gay forever too. No, it's, I love it. It's like, it's, if you've ever slammed a door, you're a friend. Yeah. <laughs> what are some other forever teens? If you've ever slammed a door. Well, I just feel like with Dave, sometimes I'm I'm a forever teen in the house because I'm like, he's like doing his thing and I'm in, I'm like in my room getting high. <laughs> and it's like, I'm his teen. He doesn't want me to be, but I am. If you here's a forever team move. If you you if your lock on your door is scissors, <laughs> that's a forever what? Door. When I was a teenager, that's what was my lock. I you know, I didn't have a lock on my door, door either. I learned it from Days and Confused. Then they gave me a padlock, and then I just started smoking cigarettes. I was like, that was a big mistake. <laughs> Wait, I just started smoking cigarettes in my house just blatantly. Like, pa- were they locking you <laughs> in? Because or... <laughs> a padlock. No, I will jump out a window. They know you'd I'll know. smash the window. They know it's not going to happen. Esther, you'd know that pain of being locked in. Right? Oh, yes. you're locked in. We're locked out. The gated. The gate locked me in. It's you're very crate. dramatic. And cr- you were crated. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm just picturing Annie being locked in a bedroom and then like somehow scratching your way through the wall yes. and, and it working a hundred percent that would happen you cannot contain me it will not it's just not gonna happen it's just not gonna work out they should put you in prison as an experiment so that they can see like the easiest way to escape wait can i tell you the most disrespectful <laughs> custom-made muzzles say? what we should have custom-made muzzles for us you guys in high school that. as okay wait in high school when i this actually is a wild thing we can try this on an episode it might traumatize me though. It, you may see a PTS flare up in front of your eyes. <laughs> but in high school, we had to, for our graduation stuff, we had, because my high school was not real, they just were there to bang us. But um, one of our graduation things was you had to do a modes of expression and people would do like their art or whatever. And because I had been in this thing with my teacher and everyone called me a liar and stuff, I went a whole day with my mouth duct taped, which did not last long because <laughs> I was like, people were like saying stuff and then I was pissed. And Were you trying? What, like, were you trying to talk through the tape though? Of course. <laughs> and then I had a mustache that I bleached with my mom. So I would, that was like our bonding was bleaching our mustaches. And so then I pulled, it was like a full waxing of my <laughs> upper lip. But I was so pissed and everyone was just like, it was a nightmare. But um, but I, I tried to have my mouth to like, as my... Well, that's what George Kimmel does. Every night he tapes his mouth, so it forces him to strictly nose breathe because that's a healthier way. I've heard that. That's like but a real thing. What I heard was his wife takes that time, that opportunity. When he, as soon as his mouth is taped, that's when she starts firing off. <laughs> we got to send her stuff because I have some things I need George to do. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was a mouth problem. I thought it was an ears problem. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, also, I think that on our next live stream, we should have you tape your mouth for like five minutes. As an see if I can do it. <laughs> and see strange. how you, see what comes out I'm of other places. I'm anxious thinking about it, which means it's a good idea. <laughs> do you think that you would um, be able to survive a silent retreat? I have images of myself getting kicked out of a silent retreat. <laughs> I've down. never seen it to the end in my visions. You know, I've never gotten through the days. I actually, good for me. I was just thinking like, oh, should we all go to one? But I was like, I, that would really be, go together. Though. That would be torture to go with you guys and not be able to talk to you would be miserable for me. It would have to be a solo journey. I would push yeah. my parts out so loud just <laughs> to, to communicate maintain my loudness. <laughs> Wait, are we allowed to laugh? <laughs> no. Okay. So, and the Vampasa ones, cause I've looked this yeah. up. I do want to do it. I just, before I really wasn't. I kind of was afraid. I had this weird thought that I would like not want to do comedy or something at the end of it. Like I wasn't, I was like, I don't want to do anything that would make me think this wasn't like my dream, but I don't feel that it would, that would ever happen now. No way. After I've done all this ayahuasca and shit, it's like, this is like what I'm meant here. I'm put here to do. What if we go and then <laughs> literally within like the first, by the first day, we've already figured out how to communicate. Like just, we have our yeah, own language. You're not, okay, so you're not supposed to make yeah. eye contact. You're not supposed to make uh, eye contact. You can't, um, <laughs> you can't journal. You can't, you can't journal? Do, no. Oh, hell no. <laughs> the whole thing is about like sitting inwards, with yourself. Right? <gasps> Move inwards. And to have no communication. And you do, I think there's like walking too, like through the day. But mostly you're just sitting there. 
Wait, people go crazy. They're like, journaling. day four is insane. You know what I'm going to look like in San Diego, in the San Diego Zoo? That's um, a little weird. There was an enc- enclosed area where there was only one sun bear. And this one bear just kept doing little circles. And I, I remember um, passing by and thinking, this is the saddest, most stressed out animal. That's how I would be at no. the silent retreat. I would just be in circles. I think I'm not being able but to then like you would journal get through or, it, but then you would, but then you would push through that. I am literally getting physical manifestations of my anxiety of like, I get tingles on the side of my face thinking about this, which is making me think we, we should, should do, do it. it. We should do it. How long, how many it's days is it? 10 days. So no eye contact, no, um, so uh, any expression like laughing, giggling or. I'm sure, I'm sure people go into giggle fits. I can't imagine people don't just lose their fucking minds. And what happens? Do we get reprimanded? Do we get whipped? <laughs> okay, you're turning now into something else. Well, now I'm whipped. Um, do we get reprimanded? <laughs> <laughs> um, Wait, but, okay, just because we're talking about the silent retreat, you guys know, since the day we started this podcast, all I have been wanting is to go with you guys to the ranch Malibu boot camp thing where they like force us to hike. They wake us up at 5 a.m. Like that. I don't know this. You don't? No, no I'm I've down. Heard, no, this is like, and it's it's very expensive. I think it's like literally like seven or eight thousand dollars. That's expensive. I, I gotta you. go. I don't want this <laughs> trash podcast. <laughs> I gotta go. But like my dream in the in life would be to do this with you guys sometime this calendar year. Okay. Can we do this? Can yes. we go to the ranch Malibu and have boot camp and maybe we can record episodes while we're there? Yeah. Wait, is that allowed? Like, what are they? Yeah, it's not. Why don't we just do it in the room and not tell them? And yeah, then... no, it will be fine. I like, guess it's too late. We told them. They, um, they, there's like activities. So it's like from 5 a.m. till 6 p.m. Yeah. or whatever. Mm. You're like doing the hike. The breakfast. We'll never see Kalila. She's going to be so far ahead of us. Oh, that's good. Girl, little waddle. I'm going to be the caboose. No, I'm a very slow walker. And I'm a very slow hiker. I'm a slow hiker. Really slow. And, oh, yeah, here's like an example of how the day goes. And then she's only going for nap time. I (laughs) promise you, the only reason this bitch wants to go is because she wants someone to tell her it's okay to have nap time. It's It's like the high (laughs) of getting to go to a nap. This is the complete opposite of how you wake up, Todd, in the morning. Look at the first thing it says: five thirty in the morning. Gentle guest wake up with Tibetan chimes. I do cheat. I do treat him like a guest. I will say that. (laughs) (laughs) Like it's my day, bitch. Some days I can. You imagine? Wait, wait, wait. Can you imagine waking up to fucking wind chimes and expected to have a nice fucking day? <laughs> Wake up, Dave, with Annie energy, and it's so much fun. I'm, I'm just like, hi! Why I'm waiting. Waiting. Todd doesn't realize I've been up for hours. I've been waiting for him to get up. He's like, he's like, yeah, I always wake up in, in the middle of a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but like we could do this and then after dinner time we would record our little our podcast and check in and let everyone know how it's going. Like how much fun would this be? I'm surprised it doesn't say nappy time for us too. <laughs> well we can. Nap time at one o'clock. How long is a nap? Just an hour? Well, yeah, but long. you don't really, you know, you just kind of nap time. Just Every, this, Esther, nap this thing time. was made for you. Low impact <laughs> strength training. Restorative. I know. It's not Things like gentle. Yoga. And when you see how little of it I participate in, you'll really see that it was made for me. Because <laughs> I'm, I, look. Do they have bathtubs? Is that why you love it? I think that, yeah. Wait, I'm yes. seeing on the bottom, there's a little asterisk. asterisk so that says, that why program includes it. two daily <laughs> snacks, a healthy cooking class, Garden tour and a diagnostic testing. I know that's what you want. You can't no, wait to be I think diagnosed. she owns this place and she has. I wish. She's a diagnostic oh, testing. Oh, the prime real estate of our podcast? Yeah. <laughs> for now for sale. I want your advice on Esther since you're the anti ghost person. I think I have my very first paranormal thing like truly happened to me that does not make sense. What? Um, I was at the pool where I usually am <laughs> and I <clears throat> usually I'll bring my fins and I'll do these little drills where I drop to the bottom about 10 feet and I do a couple laps underwater, right? Holding my breath. <clears throat> and I was there with my sister and while I was underwater, like on the floor, she just saw something kicking away very slowly. I feel this 
like someone do this, something do this. So initially, I was like, oh, it has to be my sister yeah, signaling she goes me. Up. But then I look up. She's not there. I look forward. She's on the other end of the pool. What the And I'm like, fuck? well, are, is, there, is there debris oh falling on me? I was looking That's for terrifying. things that might have like landed like on drowning. me. And nothing. Nothing, Esther. I swear to you from the bottom of my heart, I thought that maybe I was either, I was having some schizophrenic moment of like, did That's I just terrifying. imagine something touch me that way? <laughs> and... Instead of being afraid, I actually felt really calmed by it. I was like, oh, that's a weird thing. I love that it was underwater. I know. And was this at your pool or like at your house? No, no. It was at a, um, a lap, uh, the pool that I go to lap. Stand. I'm not buying it. I just feel like a ghost would finger you. <laughs> <laughs> you would have somehow gotten molested. They wouldn't have just touched your shoulder, much. I'm thinking. You? It had to yeah. be. Three. <laughs> it was, there was no one else in the pool. And the next lane's over, yeah. I think it was debris or someone Her scratching hair. you on accident and then quickly. Esther, where? I'm 10 yeah. feet in the bottom. I'm underwater. I'm but not on the surface of the pool. Cap. I'm literally at the bottom of the pool, holding my breath, kicking slowly. Just doing this slowly. I, I'm open to believing. I want to believe. Or is oh, it, am I having a, a mental health a crisis? Can we play a clip of her screaming? Are you I would love to believe. It sounds to me like a mental health crisis. No, no. Because I don't think there's anything unhealthy mentally for you with this happening because you're not scared by it. It's not bothering your life. Like for me, I could have something like that happen and choose to believe that it was Mm -hmm. like a spiritual being and that would be okay. Guys, I have seven <laughs> spirit guides. Haven't I told you? Yeah. <laughs> I have seven spirit guides. I I talk. I go to this woman. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> she's like, you have seven spirit guides. I was like, I was like, is one dopey and one sleepy? Why are there seven? How short are they? <laughs> no, I'm down for whatever. Whatever works, I believe. That's kind of where I'm headed in life. Whatever <laughs> makes me happy and keeps me positive and enjoying things and keeps me kind of like. Oh, um tapped into the audience and feeling really mm. like a community with all the people that I meet that that's what I believe in yeah yeah I I'm for sure like I've lived my life being an atheist and not having a belief in God but I always stay open I mm-hmm. think at some point in my life if it, it goes in that direction and now I have this newfound like belief I'd, I'd be okay with that as well yeah we but, evolve it's like yeah. everything you think when you're younger it it's like it would be, but it would be, wouldn't it be weird to like be sure of something your entire life? Wouldn't that be like a sad, weird right. experience of life? Right. To just have one thing. Yeah, not thing be your open to it changing. And yeah. like, so everyone you talk to, nothing like moves you or. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, no, that's a good point. Cause I love, I love talking to people and, and having that take me somewhere. Yeah. Like, I love being open to things. She doesn't I love- mean getting kidnapped, okay? <laughs> no. We have to be very careful with that. She's very short. <laughs> yeah, I like, you know what I like that I used to resist when I was younger? I like being proven wrong. Mm. Now these days, I like being wrong. I like being yeah. surprised at how little I know about something. Yeah, That's Because exciting. that makes me so in awe of life. I'm yeah. like, God, I know so little. Like, how exciting is it that I get to learn all of these things every day because I'm a fucking dumb dumb. Oh yeah, that it's like my aunt. I used to be really like, you know, I was brought up Quaker, but not truly religious. And I was very I wasn't atheist, but I just wasn't, I didn't believe in God. And I was, you know, and I kind of was like, people believe in God. Like I was very like confused by the whole thing. And my aunt, my uh niece drowned and when she was four and this was before oh, i was boy. born I'm gonna wait cry. what it was before i was born my niece yeah i mean not my, not my niece my my cousin um my oh. aunt's daughter um drowned wow. and when she was four and i remember i was talking to my my dad had gone through open heart surgery in 2011 and my aunt came to help and we were hanging out and my aunt was talking about like church or god or heaven or something and i was like i was like you believe in god like i couldn't believe she believed in god i went you believe in god and she and she was like where else would I see Heather? Oh. And I was so now every time someone's religious, I'm like, I'm happy for you. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yes. Like, that's why I just kind of like, oh. I really try to respect what people believe as long as it doesn't cause harm for other people. Exactly. You know? That's where that's definitely how that's I've so always tried to live my life is whatever gets you to lay your head down at night in a peaceful way. 
outside of like harming other people intentionally yeah. you do that yeah. and you know oh my god I'm so affected I know and I honestly drowning okay, so you know she, is my my biggest fear Annie she passed away like when um like she would probably be almost 50 maybe even now like wow. she'd be in her 40s and um so it was before I was born but it was so weird like this like birthday of hers my brother and I like really like it was like I never like felt it as like our family but you know because she had been dead our whole time it's like one of our tribe you know and I just feel so much for my auntie and she's like she has like different religion or different um political affiliations than my dad. And sometimes they fight and I'm like, Dad, it's like nothing matters. Like okay. none of that stuff. And they don't like fight, fight, but they like they have tension. Disagree. It's just like everyone, there's a reason why everyone is the way they are. And you just like gotta yeah. let them be that way again if they're not like harming anyone. But yes, yes. I mean, no, I just I but I think about it and it's like really nice to like celebrate her birthday and stuff, mm-hmm. you know. And I yeah. feel kind of like a shit that I never I just never like a lot. I think as Dr. Drew was saying, we just like avoid grieving uh-huh. my family. Totally. Like even when my dad was in the hospital getting all these like surgeries and stuff. And before my dad got open heart surgery, he had stents put in mm. to his heart. And it's, it's not a huge procedure, but any procedure on your heart, Terrifying. as you know, yeah. it causes a lot of depression. It's and, really and, yeah. intense for you because it's, you can't trust your body. Yeah. Yeah. It's the, the one thing that has worked so diligently your whole life. It literally does not sleep. Letting you down. All of a sudden, you're like, wait, could it sleep? Yeah. Is it going to sleep? You know, your heart just never stops beating. It just always is there. You know, it's there for you every week. And then moment. you get an arrhythmia. Is that what you had an arrhythmia? Yeah, an arrhythmia. My dad had that too, yeah. And they're fucking, you know, it's they're annoying. Maker, my dad. I thought at one point. Does it keep you short of breath? or what's When I have my episodes at mm-hmm. night, yeah, everything. Sweating. 250 beats a minute it feels very very uncomfortable. like you're having like the chest pain mm. the heart attack but esther wow. i mean not to um um diminish in any way the drowning incident that happened to <laughs> your aunt but i honestly now that has triggered a thought i don't want you to drown i need to teach you how to swim because all of a sudden now that's a sudden fear of mine yeah i cannot one we day say to how, how did she die she drowned that would be my i i I if couldn't this get over that. The whole show just turns into us teaching you yeah. things. I'm totally okay with that. That would be have been the goal from the start. Yes, so. I'm totally fine with it. Can and I just please teach you, Esther? Yes, I'm so down to learn, of course. We'll but be sending NF we'll be selling NFTs to this experience. <laughs> <laughs> if but if it makes you feel better in the meantime, I, I won't swim. Do not go anywhere near water. And my I grew up with uncles with like, you know, out in the lake. Fishy. This is how she didn't get flood. molested. This is how she didn't get molested. We were in these fucking swimsuits all the time. <laughs> You're right. We did I ask was for it. Hiding. It was our fault. <laughs> I was at home with my great grandma while all the other kids were out having fun with the family. I was I never participated. But the chances of she you... was great great grandmother's pet. How sad is that? <laughs> <laughs> Like the senile one. By the way, Todd told me that his grandmother, like his whole life, had Alzheimer's. So he's like every every memory of his grandmother was like going to visit her in her house one night. Who is the like he his impression is so funny. I I do see that. Wait, that happened to my sister when my dad she was, was like... when my dad was um kind of sort of on his way out. He mm. would have these moments of not being very lucid, and he was at home on the bed my sister went in the room to like serve him breakfast and then he started like he was already in diapers at this point um the amount of times so i have to say that word on the is show the, is, is really the reason astounding. you say diapers because your dad died in, <laughs> in diapers, diapers basically <laughs> but it, diapa he started diapers. um um diapers. looking for his passport like he was oh, already bedridden wow. at this point so he couldn't move very much but he started like grabbing things and then i got a phone call because i wasn't home he called me and he was like there is a strange lady in my room. She's kind of hot, and, though. Yeah, she and then, like your mom. <laughs> and I could hear my sister over the phone saying, Papa, it's me! Aww. Like, just crying. And he was like, get her out of here. She's like, you know, Aww. she's here to, like, hurt me or whatever. I was like, Papa, that's Kawinda. That's Kawinda. And I could hear her crying in the background. I was like, oh, no, he's confused. But he remembered me, so I felt kind of good about that. And I was like, <laughs> and she, was, she was like, what the fuck? But it was really, like, painful for her you know yeah, so like worse. anytime i hear dementia about like dementia is oh it's like sucks. a family affliction oh, it's not, it so doesn't happen sad. to one person no, it happens to everyone Such you know, a bitch. that reminds me of one of my favorite memories of my great grandma when we all went me and it was she was finally like in a home and we all went to visit her in minnesota it was um her three grandchildren like my mom her two brothers and then all the grand the kids and um 
And she looked at all of us. She didn't know anyone except my mom. And she didn't know any of us. And she just goes to my mom, where's Maury? And I was like. By the way, I'll say the same thing. <laughs> if you guys are going to be like, where the fuck is your dad, bitch? Get the hell out of here. And like, I'll always remember that because in a way it made me feel special. Yes. Like, it's obviously embarrassing to admit, but like. They didn't remember, like, she didn't remember my cousins, <laughs> and at least she remembered my dad, which was such a, vic- like, a, such a victory for me, because I always felt so insecure amongst my cousins growing mm. up, because I was, like, the Jewish one, and it's, like, you're not like us, and so I was, you're not you like us, cousins. yeah, it's, yeah. You were built for me. You guys. I can make fun of you so, uh, forever. You've been beat up, Esther. I have, you know what it is? I've been so ignored. Like, no one wanted to play with me or hang out with me. Don't you oh know my, my other This famous... bitch rejects me all the time. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> so annoying to hear this from the person that rejects me. Goes, By the way, didn't see you last night. Did you have to pop out? I looked something? for you. I literally Did you check you. the stage? <laughs> <laughs> with the microphone while I was saying the jokes? Bitch. I, uh, my other like famous childhood story is that we were all at my aunt's house in Wisconsin and all even more cousins, everyone was there. And I remember I was, I couldn't find anyone. I was Ooh. like, and I was sitting with the fucking parents, listening to them talk like the most boring. Wait, nightmare. It's so funny that she doesn't want to hang out with the parents, but she wants to hang out with the parents, parents. <laughs> <laughs> like literally like sitting at the foot of my mom's chair, just listening to the grownups being boring. And I was like, do you guys know where the kids are? And they were like, we don't know. We don't know. And then I, of course, later I find out they're all in the attic playing dress up. Like, and my sister was there. Well, you were leader. Jewish. They didn't want to bring you to the attic. just saw my childhood trauma. Thank you. But also you, I imagine, just to reframe this, I imagine you were clinging to your mom's ankle. <laughs> you were probably clinging to the ankle and you just wanted them to be like near you down while you were clinging with you. Like you probably could have gone up to the attic bitch. You just wanted the attic to come to you. <laughs> could be true. Yeah, could be true. Yeah. But let's bully them. What are their handles? <laughs> Unfortunately, the main ringleader is my fucking sister. Oh, so. my God. Well, she had to deal with you, honestly. Yeah, yeah. To be a mother to you <laughs> is so annoying. Mini mother. Because <laughs> she is so much older. You just came me. out dancing, too. Like, how annoying must that have been? True. You like tap dancing and shit. Oh, I was so annoyed. <laughs> this bitch just came upstage me and literally upstage me. Wait, it's like, are you, are you like, kind of like my big sister? Um, am I your big sister? I'll be your big sister. I think everyone is my, that's my issues. I make everyone my big sister. I treat you as a son. Yeah, that's, and I I'm love slightly that. slightly disappointed in, but <laughs> also proud. Lo- love that mix. <laughs> I believe you can do better. <laughs> this is it. Then Dave, just kidding, Aww. I'm joking. She cannot, Dave, do not leave her. <laughs> it will be a woman in your you place. Should da- you guys know. should dance to that, maybe at your wedding. The, the, is it, um, who sings it? Um, the dance with my, my father daughter. song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh, I dance uh, with you. Yeah. Do you guys not oh. know Luther Vandross? Yes. What song. if just I'm dancing with your dad? It's about the father daughter one. <laughs> Imagine, Our dads are dancing. You guys, would it be really fucked up if um, at my wedding I'm dancing by myself but doing like the father daughter dance? Dad. No, I oh, love that. Oh, that's so good. But then the Luther Vandross song, the dance with my father again. I got chills. That's so <laughs> funny and good. Please. I love now that. you have to get married. Can Are I you help gonna... you choreograph it? <laughs> like, this should be a solo. Yeah, can you, by the way, help choreograph anything, you stupid bitch? She's like, I don't have time. Why? Because you're dancing? You're too busy <laughs> dancing to teach us to dance? You know that we will do, you guys, manifesting us, Palm Springs, Airbnb, sleepover weekend. We dance. We cry. We laugh. We dance. We <laughs> party. <laughs> we party. We dance. Carl we gets high. Uh, we all get high. Like, how much fun. You guys, this has been a splendid episode. I know. I feel... We do all have to have weddings. Yes. No, I'm okay Can with that. Can we have them together? Because We need to... I mean, mine's going to be... Todd's like, would it be funny if we got engaged and married? And then married before Esther. I was like, oh, ha- be, that's going to happen. Wouldn't it be funny? I mean, that it's is it happening? Yes. It's yeah. definitely going to happen. I think you and I are in competition for never getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Annie needs to beat us both. Yeah. And will thinking, beat us both. You guys, I've been thinking about weddings. Like, I've never thought about weddings. Like, I kind of want to just get married in Vegas on purpose. Be the only person that's ever on purpose got married in Vegas. Yeah. Wouldn't that be so trashy? I good? love that. Yeah. A Vegas wedding? Well, I told you, the the most memorable, most heartfelt wedding I ever went to was a really shitty wedding of my aunt's in Vegas. And we were all in club attire and I never cried harder in my life. She, it was so moving. Um, I, it was just, I, 
you just felt the love. I think that's what it is. When I go to weddings a lot, it feels very transactional and you can see the bride or the people are just very mm-hmm. like consumed by the experience of having to socialize yeah. with other people. It, you don't really see the love between them. There's it's a lot like of a performance. Room for, yes. Yeah. Well, I was a uh, photographer's assistant for weddings mm-hmm. and she like, she has to keep on a schedule because these people will kill her if yeah. they don't get the pictures. Mm-hmm. So she literally runs the entire wedding because people want the pictures so bad so that it's like, like the minute the bride and groom are having fun, it's like, no, 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 it's time for like the in-laws and stuff like mm-hmm. that. And she's like, I'm like, this is really pushy. She's like, Annie, they are going to kill me if I don't do it. I, at the, what, my best friend's wedding that we just had in Great uh, movie. Texas, <laughs> she, the photographer was, I noticed like very assertive. Because mm-hmm. it, they are going to get destroyed. I yeah. think that they have the most important job. That you know? bums me out. Yeah. Because it's like, if I, you know what? If I ever have a wedding, this is the saddest thing to say. I would <laughs> love literally engagement on our I would love to just have the tell the photographer just fucking candid. Just yeah, yeah. just don't post without showing me though. Document. <clears throat> Wait, this photographer that I love <laughs> posted a picture. <laughs> listen, posted a picture of me before he asked. I called him. I was like, dude, I was like this, and I had actual camel toe in it. Where I was like. <laughs> Dude, th- do you know how fast my followers are going to zoom in on my fucking <laughs> vagina? <laughs> I literally was like, we got to face tune that off. <laughs> like, it was like in the crack. I was like, okay. Uh, God. Okay, let's bring back, um, I think we talked about this in our earlier episodes, just like candid, ugly wedding pictures. And also the They're videographer. They're funny when you look Listen, back at them. That's so much more fun to TikTok's see. TikTok's in, bitch, okay? It's about the videographer now. And yeah. the videographer does not need to ever have your attention. Mm-mm. Right. They just go. They shoot it all. I um, can't wait to come to your wedding and have it be like fully documented. Like they have lights around. The fact that you think you're invited to my wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be a caterer? You can work. <laughs> I mean, I assume that's the best man. Can you imagine your man. little, your tiny, <laughs> tiny hands? Or the ring bearer. <laughs> oh, Obviously, there's you many. The no, bowl. you're the bride. We're going to be marrying Todd. <laughs> <laughs> there's three brides. <laughs> we should talk about that. I'm into that. Um, you guys, Who do we sell our wedding to to make more money? <laughs> we'll find that People. out. Magic spoon. <laughs> Are we? <laughs> did you say magic spoon? Yeah, ma- my wedding. The is cake catching. is magic spoon. <laughs> In lieu of cake, we have magic In spoon. Lieu. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for listening to this episode. I hope you had as much fun as we did, because um, I feel great. And also, I don't know. You can come to the wedding. I was kidding. It looks like it hurt you. <laughs> um, please subscribe to this channel and um, comment. Let us know what you think about all the stupid things we said. Follow all of our Instagrams and the Trash Tuesday Instagram. It's at it's Trash Tuesday. Yes. Follow it on TikTok. Carlos has been crushing it on Instagram. Yes. We love Trash Tuesday. We love Trash Tuesday. Wait. Let's refresh the page. Rage quits the stream. legislation for once in their fucking lives is trying to tie that 33 billion dollar support to ukraine which is going directly to our defense industry by the way of course uh w- with a little bit of covid funding but the republicans are like fuck no shut the fuck up and democrats are like okay we're sorry that we even brought it up so there's that going on currently and biden literally went to alabama to the facility the lockheed martin facility to you know celebrate the the workers there on the the fucking bombs that they're building and stuff and and I shit you not, the morning edition of the NPR uh, like news uh, uh, bit celebrating this decision straight up had like uh, they they cut like a, a, another like Lockheed Martin uh, uh, ad basically. So there's that too. Now obviously this does not undermine the the. Uh, safety and security of Ukrainians, which are having a really tough time. Maria Pol has been evacuated. Uh, but even after uh, Maria Pol was like not there was like a thousand uh, still civilians that were surviving in the in the basement of the Azovstal like steel plant. Some of them were uh, allowed to uh, some of them were allowed to leave. OK, and Russia immediately started bombing. So their situation is fucked as well. Um, so, you know, things are just bad all over the place, dude. When's the tipping point for revolution? Was destroyed? Is the climate change ruining the planet? Are our rights being taken away? No, none of that is going to be a tipping point for revolution. Um, volatility 
that will necessitate a revolution will only come in a country like the United States or any country for that matter when people are hungry. And people are not hungry. They're really fucking fat. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I, and I don't mean that in like a Tim Pool kind of way, but like people are really fat. That's why they fucking cry on Twitter. Okay? Because like it, it, when you're... Uh-oh. When you can still eat, okay? When you can still eat food, when you still got food on your table, all you're going to do is fucking bitch on Twitter about whatever fucking other leftists you can fucking point fingers to. Or Bernie Sanders is the reason for why this is happening. Some some minor changes may come from how angry people are at uh, this Supreme Court decision, potentially. Who knows? Stop saying Marat theory. This is literally like foundational political theory, okay? Please stop fucking diluting serious analysis by saying Marat's bread theory, okay? That's not just Marat's bread theory, you fucking idiots. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up. Twitch brain rotted dumbasses, dude. I'm done. I, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done for the day. I think I literally have a fever coming on. I'm just, I've, I've whipped myself into anger so much uh, over this, over this process. I don't want to fucking, uh, okay. See you tomorrow. Just see. Sykuno's first stream is gonna be at 7 p.m. tonight. How exciting! I don't know if you guys missed the announcement, but Sykuno is moving to YouTube. So yeah, that is fun. Oh, okay. Let's watch. Let's watch the million dollar purple tour. Are you ready? Let me just lower it a bunch. That is the legend Ninja. Close look there at uh, XQC. Tom Dwan on the left side of your screen. Phil Helmuth on the right. I am David Tuckman. Thank you for joining us. We're going to be here for the next, I don't know, six hours or so. When Phil just screams at Thor. Watching these superstars play poker, playing $100, $200, a $50,000 min buy in. Now that's moment. Those are the most viral moments. All right, guys, we're joined here. And listen, man, I I was doing my research last night. All the players in the game. I was going through the story of your career, the old former Overwatch gamer pro, turned variety streamer, and bro, your clips are fucking nuts. I love it, man. It's it's really great. I mean, listen. First of all, welcome to have you here, man. Thank you. We're happy to have you here. So, do you play a lot of poker? I mean, did you used to play online at all? I used to play online when I was was younger. That's what I thought. That's what I heard. Yeah. uh, I bought a prepaid credit card and I bought them up online. And uh, I got it, lose a lot of money, and go in debt. But uh, yeah, I'm here to make it, to make it all right. Yeah, but I mean, I look at you as like you're actually a professional gamer, right? Like yeah. when you're a pro, it's a different. Uh, and I've been playing poker since 2008. I was 21, right? It's different yeah. when you're a professional gamer yeah. versus like an amateur. You got a certain mentality, clearly, right? Well, I hope Where... I can learn fast enough uh, and catch up with these guys. <laughs> I'll win on the fly and uh, get some money. Are you playing at all? You practicing? Uh, what you, you yeah, do yeah, to prepare? Yeah, yeah, like 10 hours a day, and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna grind for real. <laughs> I'm here to make some money, man. <laughs> you think so? What's your prediction for the game? What do you think? Plus, plus, plus a few hundred, or what do you what do you think? A few hundred for you? I hundred thousand. Well, you could still you could win a lot okay, of money so here. There's two. There's only two options. Either I do really good and make a lot of money, uh-huh. and I'm happy, or I go to zero. I'm not gonna stop at any point. Like, there's no point stopping if you're going to zero. One way you think about it, yeah. I see what you're saying, though, yeah. yeah. No, no, you're going to zero 100%. No, I think you're going the other way. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So it's, I, it's all the way up, but all the way it's down. it's not all the way up, it's all yeah, the way yeah. up. Got I'm it. Stopping. I know a lot of your fans out there are watching. You want to give them a shout? They might not see you in the poker setting very often. Yeah, thanks for all the juices in the chat uh, on Lovely's channel. Much love. And thanks for all the boys. All right, I'm going to leave you guys. i got to go make some money. But um, thank you, man. Much love. See, it looks great to meet you, man. Good to meet you. Hope to see more of yeah, you. Yeah, thanks for okay? doing a good research and good I, I was going to give away more when I learned. I learned a lot. It was, it was great kind of watching the story. I mean, yeah. kind of ups and downs in the professional career. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn, bro, this guy, he's still working hard. I mean, yeah. Hopefully that is hard, though. Yeah, you'll be good, man. Yeah, I'm good. Good luck, brother, okay? Thank you, thank we'll you. We'll talk again. Yeah. Just moments away from our first hand. <laughs> Listen, I'm here with my man, Bohemia Sick. 
It's a uh, four thousand. Tell me the double straddle. <laughs> Uh, Botez, our early big winner. But as you heard the players say, we're just like four hands in. It's like they'll get food that comes, and they won't admit they're going to give away reads. Like, you know, on average, if we play, probably I get more reads from you or Jimmy than you guys do from me. Right. But if my food just arrived, you guys are going to get more reads from me than I get from you that hand, on average. Are you going to get your big up? No, it's just like, come on, you ordered food. You're probably hungry, whatever. You know, nothing and never happens the other way, but like on average. Right. And you'll have people come from online that haven't played much live or people that don't play that much poker and they just don't want to believe it. I No one can read me, you know? Like, uh, and how much money did you bring? A thousand. Uh, two fifty. We might have to support you. Know, he might go through three hundred right away. What, 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 yeah, I'm all. What's my all in button? What's that? Oh, no. Wait, all in. I'm not getting all in. Right, I'm gonna let you guys call it. Right? Hey, hey, no, 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 no one's ever lost three in a row, Keith. No one's ever she said, sometimes it's a charm. You know what I do, right? $150,000. You know, I'll show the table. I'll make you a deal. I have king five. If you can promise me you don't have aces, kings, or ace king. No, I don't promise you anything. Give me no. your money. <laughs> if you only want the four, then you can take it. I'll pull. One more or the other. Hmm. All right, I'm calling. Fuck it. One or twice. You didn't One. regret it. One time it's done. Oh! 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 All right. Oh, my God. Not a hot start. Not a hot start. But there's a lot of diamonds in there. Diamonds. A lot of diamonds. <laughs> 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 but you got, you played the hand for like yeah. 50K with aces. Right. Oh, I should have known. Shit. When he said that, I was like, I don't understand the angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It just yeah. makes sense. Oh, shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can't promise. It doesn't yeah, mean yeah. you're going to win the hand. Nah, it doesn't. Well, that's uh, a pretty good start. Really good start. No yeah. diamonds out there for cheating. He needs running cards. Appreciate it. Yeah. Oh my god, Jack's full of aces. When the aces hold, XQC doubles up. That was like a pretty good speech. Like the actually what it was is he interrupted me and I was like, well, fuck this guy. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Quit laughing, put on the Don't Jake Oh my god. If if he gives another person 50k, we could all just buy it. Put in the right place. Yeah, yeah, I'm going for one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the it's the pitch, the double. My juicer XPCL. Yeah, my heart's raising. How do you hide that? <laughs> Don't let people feel your pulse. Yeah, you, like like you like the poker. I've had, I've had some of the shit. Chinese billionaires reach over and feel my pulse. Like while they're playing, I guess. Like literally, yeah, like, like I went all in. Yeah, 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 reach over and grab my hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, yeah, obviously, yeah. no, no, obviously, like the first time it happens, like what can you do? Then you can be like, yo, you can't do that, and they won't do it again. But like, that's crazy. Is that a fun game to play? No, no, like weird news. Even the Chinese billionaires can't do that. I mean, no matter what, if you have the hand or you don't, if you're going all in, dude. Your pulse better be racing. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, but I think somebody's feeling your pulse. Like, literally, like, when I'm out, I'm like, 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 See, this way he doesn't deserve to see flops. He complains he doesn't see flops, and he, just, he does it like this. You know what? Mr. Yeah. Value better over there. You would have, yeah. but... Yeah, because I didn't snap, I won the money. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> 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 uh, what, what's your name for you? Yeah. Mr. V? What was my name? Um, Ninja? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 This is my last hand. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Wait, wait, wait. You're up 50,000. Hey, oh, yeah, hey, 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 you want to sign that next dealer, whether or not they know who you are? Yeah, yeah. I'll bet 10K they don't. There's only two dealers. There's only two dealers. There's only two dealers. Yeah, there's only two dealers. Yeah, fucking 10K. Oh, there's only two dealers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that would have been. Although, yeah. you can ask the next waitress. 
No, no, no. Two more, two more. She did her own work, that's why. Oh, for B-Mart? I mean, you might be able to buy from her if she wants to buy cash. It's like overcoat, she doesn't even need 300. I don't know if we can take it. She gave my backpack. There you go. Yeah, yeah, we're getting it. 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 Right? Do you have any more tickets? I have, I have another 50. Okay, cool. So, I just didn't want us to be like all in and yeah. get on the table. Like, if we all have 50, we can probably not. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'll be able to see 50 more for Tom. I think I'll be able to see 50 more for Tom. Oh, Tom. Oh, Tom. Oh, Tom. Oh, Tom. Oh, StakeKings.com giving away a $10,000 World Series of Poker main event seat. If you ever dreamed of playing in the World Series of Poker main event, they are going to give one lucky person a chance. Three flops. I get there. Oh, the night. There we go. The first flop that we get to see. Head over to the Hustler Casino live chat. And on the top of that, the link is there. Follow the directions. Make sure you subscribe to Hustler Casino Live. And you'll be eligible to win a 10K World Series of Poker main event seat. Oh, dude, I, I, I gave him a wide berth, dude. A wide berth? I gave those uh, cards a wide berth there. My turn? Yeah. Yep. 1,200. Sorry. Is that a call or a raise? Uh, raise, 5K. Okay. Yeah. Can you give me Botez is coloring up. She's just got too many chips. Dude. Up over a quarter of a million already. What do you do? I checked that. Pretty relevant card. It's a great card. It's a great card to see. I like that phrasing. It's a relevant card. Yeah, I like that too. Well, it's time. Let's see what he does. Yeah. Make it 30. Raise it to 30K. Then we're right back to XQC. But now the glasses are coming close. I can't read them at all. XQC yeah. doubled up early it. with aces versus Keating's King 5. Slime has the straight though. Yeah, yeah. Thinking about it. Where she realized she calculated all the money she won from chess and it got beat in one hand. By the way, she saved us all money. Because he had seven people and he was yeah, actually yeah, going to yeah. win with the big one. Yeah, there you go. So instead of all of us all having you a know he can have a straight. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Um, there's a time they're I- talking right now about whether they would live in content creator houses again. Um, like last year, I, I thought about I'm just gonna buy a compound, like compound. Well, a like house, a house compound. that was like a compound, like a house that has like multiple houses on the on the on the property, almost yeah. Yeah. right, and have like let's say three people in, in one yeah, house and one other, and just have just like a compound of fun, mm-hmm. you know, and then we can do whatever. But I'm like. Who am I gonna? Who am I gonna do a compound with? You know, and then people are like, in orgs or like, oh, I'm on Hundred Thieves, I'm on, I'm on OTK, I'm on OTV, whatever. And then you're like, oh, we can't collab, or then we have like problems with deals, whatever. And it's like it's not very it like. It gets complicated. Yeah, it's not, it's not as grassroots anymore, and it becomes kind of complicated. And I wish it was like just kind of simple. I agree. Also, can we get get this out of the way now? X is wearing zero makeup. No, I. Uh, you know, you know what? Um, my lighting is just so really I can't nice. I can't sleep. So I I looked wide as fuck. Semi so says I need to be a, a mini mini touch up when I got here. You need a mini a mini mini touch up. Yeah, cause I'm I'm I look like I'm a ghost. I look white as fuck. Oh, did she put makeup on you? Yeah, she she did like a like a Aww. like a like a. Like a, like a, a it's not That's like so it's not nice. it's not like a whole thing. It's like a, like at least to me in person, you don't look like you're wearing makeup. Yeah, it's just because I had um I had fucking cause I I can't sleep. I have a I problem now with sleep. sleep. And yeah, what's going sometimes on? Sometimes I'll wake up and topic? and you like my my face is like transparent almost. Oh, like you're ghostly white. Yeah, you're go you're like transparent almost, like you're fra- fragile as fucking. Mm-hmm. I don't know why it does that. What's up with your sleep? Um, I don't know actually. I don't know what's the problem. Um, I think you I need to get better test sleep test hygiene stuff? for sure. Sleep hygiene, you know, like um, like no screens an hour before bed and stuff like that. Yeah, because it got bad really fast though. What happened? Um, I mean, I just started waking up. I just, I just started waking up a, a, a lot of times, and then it, it just kind of like it just got worse and worse, and it never got better, and it just keeps getting worse. I have noticed your my my <laughs> my sleep schedule was bad. Not your, you have Adderall sleep schedule. <laughs> yeah, it's really bad. Like you like... just go for twenty hours, and then you're pass out. I'm gonna be honest though, lately it's because like I'm like, oh, I know if I go to bed, it's not gonna do shit. And I'm so gonna be awake. Well so I'm like, if, I, if I'm awake right now, I yeah. want to make the best of it. So I'll I'll be awake as much as I can. That, makes sense. that is like really some some cooked like degenerate uh, uh, narrative thing. Like <laughs> like who does that? You know, it's like kind of dumb. I mean, it's tough because in your situation, you're rewarded for doing that. Does that make sense? Yeah, but. See, the problem that I have is making the best. It's what it's something that I asked um, Lil Usabert when I was uh, uh, talking to him la- uh, last time. I always ask when myself. I was casually talking to Lil Usabert. Yeah, I actually was. It was very casual. It was kind of like, oh, yo, what's up? Because uh, it was on the Discord. But I asked them, mm-hmm. and I'm, I'll ask you mm-hmm. do you feel like you could or could have done more when you had the opportunity? I think. There's no way to say you couldn't. Yeah. Like you literally can always do more. Yeah, but what about you though? Could, could you have done more? Yeah. Yeah. Always. And you regret not doing more? No, because I think it would have driven me crazy. You think, you think it would have diluted the content? No, I think it would have made me a worse person. Oh, okay. Like a worse human being. So for example, like when there's been like drama or whatever in the past. Yeah. Looking back, like, I could have hella farmed that shit. I could have just, like, kept streaming. I could have done whatever. But I think, in my mind, I would have, like, become a little bit of a villain, if that makes sense. Yeah. But instead, I, like, took a step away and... Get that bag, queen. (laughs) But, like, when the Jideon shit happened, like, I knew I wasn't in the wrong. And I was comfortable, like, farming that and still streaming and doing whatever. Yeah. But in the past, like, there was so much shit. I felt like I would have had to go villain mode in my brain in order to just keep streaming and be like, I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I get that. <laughs> but, like, when you're at this type of, like, exposure and eyes on you, like, you need to take some time away to remain a human being. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, to touch grass, literally. Yes. Yes, um, to touch grass. Yeah, it literally, is so important <laughs> when you are online all the time to like make time to go outside and 
realize that like the computer is not the world if that makes sense like it is that it is like your your pathway to the world and the internet is like a big beautiful place with lots of information and stuff but like you also need time to connect with like the real world and like the natural world you know sometimes i feel like it like think about it could you have done more videos more of this yeah. you could have done uh, uh, more cooler merch yeah. cooler collabs cooler whatever yeah. could you have done more like podcasts yeah. talks yeah. Uh, appearances or whatever you can yeah. always like do more yeah right yeah. and sometimes i am like dude it might give me a position in a couple of years where i'm like damn i could have done more and now i regret right i'd rather like almost push all the avenues as much as i can I to where me. i don't feel that way uh in the future how are you i know what you're saying I don't really think I view it that way though. Okay. The way I view it is I don't want any regrets in regards to my happiness and my health. Okay. Not yeah. just my career. Yeah, that, that works backwards then. Yeah. That I think that argument can be pushed both ways. Yeah. It works both ways. It, yeah. I guess it depends what you're optimizing for. Yeah. Like for me, I think that same thing, but in regards to my health. Like I have really fucking bad neck pain. I put a fucking I see hot thing. Licketine patch. <laughs> what is that? I've had like Is it a fire and ice? Oh yes. The, the icy, icy hot, hot little cane. That's when you're <laughs> one old. of those. Like I have you really have bad neck, neck pain and right back now. So pain instead, I'm thinking. Put shit on. I'm thinking like me right next to my desk. I got my cool. I don't want to make decisions now that I'll regret in 30 years because I'm screwing over my health. Oh, okay, no, I, my health. I don't feel that damaged that way though. Except for my back. I'm my back's kind of fucked up. I'm doing good. It's kind of it's kind of curvy. I heard you have I'm a bad knee. Oh yeah, it's broken. It's broken. Yeah, it's broken. What do you mean I, it's I, have a, I have a bolt in it that's holding it together, and it's it's not doing its job. Did something happen? Like, yeah, I have an ACL reconstruction. A... They have to rebu Sports? rebuild the. Yeah, I uh, I, want, I want to go pro in snowboarding, and uh -huh. uh, I do I do crazy shit, and then uh, uh, one day my knee just kind of fucked out. I can't tell if you're trolling. I'm not trolling. You you wanted to go pro in snowboarding? Look, look, look. Touch that. No, you really push into it. Like you really push into it, you, you'll feel it. I feel bad. Do, like, do that. Push into it. It doesn't hurt. You feel is it? this not a bone? It's not a bone, it's a, it's a it's bolt. bolt. It feels like a bone. Well, the bone, the bone builds around it. Oh. But basically, it's like, um, it kind of, it kind of, it kind of failed a little bit. Okay. Maybe it's because of my fault or not. But basically what happened is that, uh, the bolt is holding like, the, um, your knee has like a, a, a cross of like, uh, ligaments in it. There's like an X. So XPC is a cyborg now. Mm -hmm. That's fully what it and is. And one tears pretty easily. <laughs> mm -hmm. And what it is that they rebuild it. And then they bolt it at the top on in the bone, and then it it stays in, you know. Mm -hmm. But the bolt is like off, and it's not at the right place. So it go, yeah, so now now it's it's not tearing, but it's not like doing its job properly. Yeah. So they're gonna have to re-break it. So now the knee's doing whatever it was like it wants. It's an X in your leg. Yes, yeah, a big X. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. It's okay though, but yeah, it all. At one point, I'll go back to like doing sports and and but right now I'm I'm, I'm enjoying my life though like That's you know good. yeah well I enjoy my life so it's like I, I don't I, I don't want to do sports right now or that much and so I'm not being hindered by it that much because you're enjoying what you do so I'm trying to take life do you one feel like at, at some time. point at some point you'll feel like you've kind of done it all when it comes to streaming oh uh, yeah but I'm not at that point I think I think this sort of this innovation part that I want to do and other cool cool stuff that I want to do. It was always, dude, dude uh, you're not doing shit, you're too lazy. Nah, it, it, it's, it's still happening. It'll... Ask him about merch. Ask him about podcast. Ask him about subathon. Yeah, how do you feel about subathons? Are you still wanting to do one? Do you have any hot subathon takes? So, basically, um, getting a place to do it is really important for me because I want to do a lot of stuff with it. I want to do like a bunch of stuff with it. Oh. You know, I want to, you know, be yeah, active. Yeah, like a set. Yeah, subathon. almost like, almost like, almost like turning down house into a studio almost, yeah. you know? So we can do stuff. You know, yeah. that's interesting. 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 Okay. I'm kind of feeling like I want to pivot. I want to pivot. So now we're going to change the category. Or should I just end this stream and start a new one for World of Warcraft? Like, should I play World of Warcraft right now? No, I should take a break and touch grass, right? Like, I've been online for two hours. I should 
go touch grass and then come back on later at night time and play WoW. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's, maybe that's the better vibe. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little break, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and watching videos. I know I don't get to do it enough, so I want to make sure that I do try to hang out with you guys and just chat and shoot the shit and watch videos and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try to do like a just chatting video like twice a week at least so I can chat with you guys and then... World of Warcraft for however long. Like, I can't believe I still haven't played and I still haven't gotten my vault item and I still haven't converted anything into a tier set. And, like, oh my god, I want to play so bad. I want to play so bad, but I'm like, should I eat first? Should I do, like, human things? Do my body feel so tired? It's probably from the LSD. so tired and like I need to stretch. Maybe, maybe I am hungry. Maybe I am hungry. Oh, my neck. Okay. All right. I'm going to log off for a little bit. I'm going to go grab food, touch grass, do those humanly things that people do. Those human things that humans do, like eat food. And uh, I'll be back a little later. Thanks for hanging out. Make sure you follow me, subscribe, follow me on my socials, yada, yada, yada. I upload all my VODs on YouTube now. So this one will be on YouTube later tonight. Actually, I think I can start exporting it as soon as this is done, honestly, so. It'll be on YouTube in, like, an hour. Yeah. Alright, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Ta-ta!